Thank you for calling Burrated B-Rated Movies, where wow. B-Rated isn't a bad word. I'm Anthony. Oh, what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Did I call the right place? Y- you call every week. I do. I don't know if this is in my phone or not, but what? Are we? Wa- do you got someone going on tonight? Well, uh, tonight we're watching The Monster Mash. It's the a uh, Mash. anthology... What is it, 70s, 80s Creatures Features? Not that song, though, right? It No. Oh. No, it's not in the movie. I think I looked up the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything about it? Uh, well, this movie... Oh, I don't even have it up. But this movie, uh, <laughs> it was... Uh, like, this was shot on 16 millimeter. That was the... Uh, like that—that that was my interesting part about this movie. It's all like old school creature feature stuff. Interesting. Hey, man. <laughs> I know I get you every week, but you know I had an interesting thought. Okay, if you had a baseball bat and you had to just wipe out as many kindergartners as you could, jeez, how many do you think you could do? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Damn. I—I I don't think I could. <laughs> I'd go endless. Oh, jeez. Endless. I'm talking, I don't know, man. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to put this in. I just want you to think about that while I watch this. <laughs> I, that will not leave my mind. That's frightening. You're welcome. <laughs> Berated. Berated. B-rated movies. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the cousin loving question from last week's episode. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. We talk about so much weird shit that, like, when people bring it up, I'm just like, oh, wait, like, yeah, we did we say that. Start to drink in there. <laughs> you know? <laughs> we'll see how many people are just like, fuck you, Brian. Don't hit kindergartners with bats. Yeah, I didn't say you had to. <laughs> but if you had to kneecap them. I'd fucking take out, I don't even know, tens of thousands. <laughs> Kneecapping kindergartners? Come on, bro. You know what? I used to be a preschool teacher, and uh-huh. we had an after school. We had like a private kindergarten and after school program. It's a lot easier than you think. You'd, yeah. you'd surprise yourself. You'd be like, fuck, I didn't think I had it in me. Yep. But after I about 20 be- minutes, you'd be like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I believe that. I have, a, I have a preschooler, and <laughs> yeah. it's one, and I'm like, get a wiffle bat. Any other person? If if you weren't my blood, this would be a very different story. Yeah, no, <laughs> you fucking little bastards. Especially when I say don't don't put your hand in the guinea pig cage. You have to look at me as you're putting your hand in mm-hmm. the guinea pig cage. They think there's something. So <laughs> don't don't do this. Is what you're saying. The best <laughs> thing is they come in. There's like. I just want to make sure I can't do this. Yes, you don't need to make sure. You already know the fucking answer. We had our son's birthday party, I guess. Yeah, we had our son's birthday party, and they were doing that. Hey, Brian, just to make sure I can't play on your treadmill upstairs? No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck kind of question is that? Yeah, in my experience, kids are more like, no, no, I can do it. <clears throat> want to see me? I, I can do it. Yeah. No, 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 you're not understanding. <laughs> I don't want you to do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's our thing that we're teaching. We just have a 10 year old now. And we're like, um, hey, you want to put this away? No. Then we have to explain to him, nope, that's us being polite and telling you to do something. <laughs> we're really not asking you to do anything. We're telling you politely. Oh, yeah. We're not asking your permission. We're telling you to get your ass up. <laughs> and do whatever I tell you to do. I got a 19 and a 16, so been there, man. Hmm. It don't get any easier either. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> are, are you good with this part being in the podcast? Yeah. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure so I don't yeah, have I to. I am comfortable enough that I... People know me enough already to know that uh, I'm comfortable taking out kindergartners. So I'll go. <laughs> That's what my, my, I heard my kid ask that to his friends. How many kindergartners do you think you can take out? And they're like, oh, this one. I was like, dude, you were in kindergarten like three years ago, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> like if there's like, hey, Brian, how many 35s you think you, how many 35 year olds do you think you can take? I'd be like, fuck. 
one or two. Yeah. You know? Like, did, did I stretch first? My age? Who knows? <laughs> right? The people you got to look out for are the ones that already have specific answers, right? Hey, how many kindergartens do you think you can take out? Uh, 37. It's like, yeah. Okay. This is very specific. Like, you how want a list of people? Yeah. You want that list or no? See? And you're just like, what the fuck? You already made a list? <laughs> I start stalking them. Like this one goes to STEM at 12. This one goes to fucking their shitty whole PE class that they consider PE. <clears throat> well, like, tell me uh, like, what is it like Jane Silent Bob and Jane, in uh, Jane Silent Bob strike back when they fly across the country, beating up people that gave them negative reviews. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you, did you say, yeah, yeah. Did you see that dude on fucking uh, Instagram that did that? He went over no. to this kid who looked like he was working like Starbucks or something. <laughs> and he's like, uh, hey, he's like, do I look familiar? And he's like, no. He goes, oh, well, my name's my name's like, I don't know, James Crawford or something like that. And the kid's like, no. And so he pulls out these big ass fucking whiteboards and he printed off his comments. Oh, fuck. And he's like, this is me. He's like, and this is you. The guy's like, dude, you need to chill out. And it looked like a piece of shit kid who hides behind the keyboard and he's like you fucking threatened that you're gonna slash my tires he's like so fucking what you what are you doing the guy's like you need to get out here before i call the cops and the guy's like i'm not causing a scene he goes do you think it's appropriate for you to threaten people online that you're gonna slash your tires because like oh, oh, it looked like a bit for sure he's a fucking virgin <laughs> for sure <laughs> got them virgin know. eyes yeah <laughs> stupid you know mike tyson said the best everybody you know, everybody's got a plan until like. they get hit in the face. Well, they forgot what it's <laughs> like to be punched in the mouth, hiding behind their laptop or their oh, keyboards. Yeah. Yeah. You know? 100%. All these kids talking shit. They forget what it's like. <laughs> Some don't even know. Some don't even know what it's like. Yeah. And they just run it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. We, like, we're here with. Oh, yeah. Hi, with, everybody. Hey. Yes, oh, hi. yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey. Yeah. The, the other voice that you hear that isn't ours. Like, that's Brian again. <laughs> He's doing a third voice. Oh, man, he can throw that voice hella good, dude. We're trying to be a ventriloquist for months. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, so, my Laura. name is Paul. I go by the uh, handle rated PG on the Mutant City Horror <laughs> podcast. You can find us on Instagram at Mutant City Horror. Um, we just started a TikTok and a Facebook. I feel like those are like, that's a condescending sentence, not condescending, but contradicting sentence because Facebook is a million years old and TikTok is still relatively new. So, it's like we, we're both, we're starting both things at the same time, but. Whatever. We just barely started our Instagram a year ago, maybe. But we've been we've been doing our podcast for going on four years now. And Thanks. here and there. We started on YouTube doing video podcasts and then we started like editing shit in and that just got overwhelming. We were producing like one episode a month, if that. And then uh, we did a live show and that just kind of broke us. So we took a break and then when we came back, it was Halloween 2021, maybe. And it's then we year. just, yeah. <laughs> and then we just started doing uh, audio only um, straight to Spotify. And um, since then, we're on Apple Podcasts and then um, everywhere else now. So you can find us pretty much where you find all of your podcasts. And <laughs> um, it's been cool because we've been, you know, we're a horror review podcast and um, me and my buddy, Matt, we started it just as a way to like hang out. Cause as I mentioned, you know, we're both from the nine Oh nine and we met each other in 1995 maybe. So we've known each other forever, but you know, we've since moved on and you know, we've got our own, you know, the girlfriends, wives, kids, all that shit. So, you know, we're at least two hours, about a hundred miles apart from each other. So hanging out isn't always like the easiest. So Damn. Damn. The podcast is like the way to do it. You know what I mean? We every week come together, hang out, drink, mm-hmm. yes. watch shitty ass B movie, talk shit. <laughs> there it is. And whoever listens listens. But <clears throat> it's cool because since we started doing the Instagram thing, we started meeting a bunch of fucking people. And then we started going to like conventions and shit. And so now we've been interviewing a slew of people, right? We we interviewed um Ray Spivey, who Works with Alan Danziger from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We met with Sean Heights and 
um, a slew of his cast and their different movies and producers. Dude, it's not out yet, but we just recorded an episode with Buddy Cooper, the director nice. for Mutilator. Yeah. We talked to him. Yeah, Did you? He's a cool too. dude. Yeah, he's so fucking awesome. So like, I don't know, it's just cool that, you know, we're starting to kind of get these bigger and bigger names in on the show and the, the platform's turning into like less of a movie review and more of a like, you know, professional industry interview type platform. And we're trying to keep it kind of mixed, but I don't know, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. We just brought on a third um, cause the, the work is getting overwhelming. Our buddy, Alan, who we've known for, I've known Matt since 95. So we probably known Alan since like 2000, 2001. So we all go way, way back. So, you know, nice. it, it makes for good content on the, on the podcast, or at least I like to think so. So, Oh no. Right. Like I, like when I listened to your podcast, I was just like, cause I listen to a lot of these horror movie podcasts and everybody's like, I don't, I, I don't want to like throw out broad generalizations, but like everybody tiptoes, everybody's careful. Everybody's like, like, I don't do this on my podcast. I don't do this. And it's like, I listen to you guys and it's like, it's like game on. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I appreciate yeah. it. Cause it's like when you edit out all of the, the other stuff and, and you're afraid to say things like you stop, it stops feeling like, um, uh, what the word I'm looking for like, uh, Nerdy. like, like real. Oh, like this is a conversation I would actually have. Mm-hmm. You're not sitting right. there. Like, like I am so disappointed in, in the way they treat women in this movie. This is like, <laughs> I would never say that in real life. Right. Right. Like, there you, I don't, I don't like it when that stuff happens, but I'm not going to sit there and like talk like a politician. No. Yeah, there there are certain things that I am sensitive to. I think uh, sexual assault in movies oh, yeah. I'm sensitive to, but I'm not going to ignore the fact that it's there. And sometimes like cursing, it's got a place because it delivers a point or a message or fills part of the story that you're trying to tell. And it's just uncomfortable for me because of who I am. I'm also afraid of bees, so I'm not going to like talk shit about movies that got bees in it. You know what I mean? But <laughs> Dude, um, you want to sound fucked up? <laughs> My sister is in Texas, and I don't know if she's listening to this, but <clears throat> she was at her uh, kids' soccer games, and I want to say, fuck, I, like, I don't know, she's like 30-something maybe, and she went to grab her baby stroller, and a fucking bee <sighs> got her on her fucking thumb. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, thanks. She found out she was allergic to bees, and I was like, oh, see, that's why home. I'm afraid. You've oh, been your whole life. You've never been stung by a bee before. I'm like what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Ambulance ride to the fucking ER. <laughs> and all that shit. We're just like, what the hell? Yeah. And I was See? like, let me know if you need any of my like amazing O negative blood. <laughs> you know? Moral of the story there, order. man. Is yeah. Don't have kids. Don't go to soccer tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. F sports. No, but right. but to your to your point, Anthony, I think Matt and I decided early on like we were going to make it very n- neutral in that we have zero interest about discussing world events, current events, you know, temperature, shit like that. Like we understand that we just we want to just come out and just talk about movies and and not talk about political climate and all that shit. Like there are people who are well more more well educated than we are on those matters so let them do that we're here to just get drunk talk shit about stupid b horror movies and and that's it you know what i mean Boom. And so, i love that yeah that's i don't think we have enough sense. of that right everybody's so afraid like we said like it's just sounds like the exact same concept that like anthony and i have where it's like we're not going to talk about you know left or right side or anything like if there's something funny in the news i could be like damn did you hear about p diddy's house <laughs> Anyways, so this movie's going on, and then we'll like fucking skip by that, you know. We'll be like, damn, you know. Did you hear that Charlie Sheen has AIDS, bro? Fuck. <laughs> Get out of here! And but then, that's normal conversation you would have yeah. if there wasn't a microphone in front of you, right? So, yeah. if the idea is let's just hang out and let's just the only difference is there's a microphone here. That conversation should still be as organic as it would be if it wasn't there. Yeah, I think that's what makes for for good good podcast. Yeah, see, and then you just let it talk. Like, don't worry about 
you know, but it's funny is we've been invited on a couple of their podcasts and like, you know, just joking up like, all right, so how are we with like racial slurs and everything like that? And they're just like, uh, no. And I was like, yeah, obviously. Like, what the fuck? I'm not just going to get on here and start blasting shit. And they're just like, oh, man. And I was like, you've obviously never listened to our podcast then <laughs> because fucking this is what, you know. But yeah. yeah. I think we did one podcast that I listened to an episode like two or three weeks later. And I won't say the podcast, but um, they were like, but like the what was it? One of the one of the hosts was like, "We're a review podcast, and we, you know, we give strong opinions. We don't just sit here and love everything." And like, mm. so, well, you're a hater. Like, I kind of felt like it was a shot at us because, like, we don't mm. sit here and be like, "This movie sucks. This movie's good." We don't do that because, like, like you don't need me to do that for you. You can do that on your own. Yeah, but the thing you yeah. know is, we always say that we've never made a movie. So we fucking whatever movie they made, it's a hundred times better than the movie that we've made. Yep. Yeah. Except being Anthony made a movie time. once. Yep. But it was a different movie. <laughs> 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 but yeah, all these people. I don't know. There's just haters out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I don't know, man. Some people take this shit way too seriously. Like there's there's one in particular I listen to and they're like so hypercritical and you know it's more about like breaking down the art form and i'm like can't you just enjoy it because it's got blood and titties in it like exactly yeah you know what i mean like, movies yeah <laughs> this guy got his you know his face chopped off and you know this girl's got a spider coming out of her mouth and like that shit's awesome can we just yeah, recognize yeah. how awesome all this campy horror shit is and not have to talk about the subcontext and i don't know Right, not everything has a meaning. Sometimes that's people true. do just get murked for no yeah, reason. That's true. You're like, oh, all right. Well, then there it is. You know. Well, yeah, it's like, true. um, what was it? Um, I think I was listening <laughs> to the audio commentary for the the season finale episode of season three of Buffy, and like, I don't know if you remember that episode or if you ever watched the show. That's a very nerdy sentence. Yeah, right. That is a nerdy <laughs> sentence. No, Kuda, I'm just saying that it's awesome. Not everybody could say that. Yeah. But like, um, like he, Joss Whedon says in the, in the commentary, he's like, there's this guy that walks around, could they like the characters called the cheese man. And he's just <laughs> like, he's making random weird statements about cheese or like doing weird what things with fuck? cheese. And it's because the whole episode takes place in a dream. And like, mm. like, so it's, it's so like, he's like, I appreciate the fact that people attempted to find meaning in this character. But basically, he's, <laughs> but like, there's nothing behind it because he's like, you cared enough to think deeply about this episode. It's like that. But like he was like, this is just that part of your dream that's there and you don't know why. Yeah, that's all it is. Like, yeah. like that oh, South yeah. Park episode, Scrody McBooger balls. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, this is what it means. So like, no, it's just a. Bunch of fourth graders making a gross book that makes you like that's amazing. There's like, no, it's this poverty and this, this. You're just like, God damn it. Yes. But um let's see. What are you drinking? I'm drinking uh Paloma, tequila and squirt with some rock salt Ooh. in it. It's been my go-to for a minute because uh trying to watch my figure so i get the uh sugar-free squirt not the diet squirt but the sugar-free squirt and then um uh, my wife um some of her customer one of her customers um is a delivery driver for a tequila company so he's Damn. always bringing her bottles of tequila so never never short on tequila here nice when i worked at a a shoe store in downey california um what are we would take uh, balls of liquor and hide them. Like, what are those roofs, the ceilings called? That, like, you can push the tiles up and move oh, them. Yeah, or, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we'd yep. always have balls of liquor up there. <clears throat> yep. God damn. I don't know why the fuck I'm sneezing. <clears throat> Anyways, but I was like the only, like, literally, I think there was like me and like, I don't know, two or three other Caucasian people that worked at this mall. Everybody else is like Hispanic. In the whole mall? Didn't da- <laughs> I'm not even fucking kidding, dude. Like, I've never in my life, like, we went to this restaurant and, like, it was me and my employees. 
and this kid kept looking at me, and then he pulls on his mom. He's like, "Mom, look!" and like pointed right at me. And the kid's looking around because like I was, <laughs> you know, I, light skin. Yeah. And everybody else was had darker skin. They're just like, "What the fuck?" And the mom was like, "Don't point at them. Stop <laughs> pointing at them." And so like, I had my employees from like Compton just laughing at me. They're like, "You see what it's like?" Yeah. Like, what yeah. The fuck? So that's what that feels like. Got that it. morning, we got done eating breakfast and we went to work, and it happened again. Another little kid fucking was like, "Mom pulled on me and did like a one eighty to look at me like that motherfucker yeah. can't be real, you know." White person, and like I'm fucking tan, like I'm not like I'm fucking a, you know. Sorry, gingers, but you know, kids, but, man. See my earlier comment about the kindergartners I'm telling you. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. Speaking of that, it's like um, when I don't think the guy works at Walmart anymore. The, the Walmart by our house. But there's this there's a little person that works at Walmart. And my wife went in with him the first time. And he was like, he was like, Mama, look, and like point oh, man. at the little person. <laughs> and like when I heard about that, I just died a little bit inside. I'm like, yeah, oh, maybe he grew up and got a promotion. <laughs> and then he saw the he saw the little person again when we were there. And I just like grabbed him by the arm and I looked at him like, don't you do it. He always don't do it. <laughs> the last couple of times I've seen him, he's in the the toy section, which is even more fucked up. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> he's like, come on, bro. Section. I'm trying. I'm trying over here, you know. <laughs> but it's also like he's there and he like like I kind of want to be like, hey, are you a disgruntled employee? Because right beside our toy section is like the fucking hunting knives and guns. I'm gonna be like, I know what you're doing. You're trying to inch your way closer to it. And I'll be like, fuck you. And start blasting people with pellet guns. Be like, God, that was a mild inconvenience. That stung a little bit. And then you have to try to start fighting people. You know? Oh yeah. Hopefully, Before we hopefully got your wolf ball bat with you. Yeah. You're an angry one. <laughs> you're an angry little man. Um oh yeah, before we we, you know head out i know um i should mention um check out our merch store um on berated berated movies.com it's a pretty funny site um check out our patreon <clears throat> uh our first episode is up of everything gets berated where we uh, talk about uh the united states of insanity the time the the juggalos were deemed a criminal gang goddamn damn <laughs> malos is that what they're fucking called <laughs> Right, I'm pretty sure that means gangsters in in Spanish. I don't really speak Spanish that much. I don't really either. I think that's say it again. Gente malo is that like a bad person? Well, I mean, malo is bad. I don't know that first part. Yeah, gente malo is that this is like a uh, yeah gangster. bad person. Yeah, gente is people it's like my people, and then malo is bad. So bad people. I'll give it to you. Yes, <laughs> the core one. Like it sounded authentic to me. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> no, this is what it means. <laughs> like right? you could have said almost anything, and I would have been like, "I agree with you. I <laughs> support that." Yeah. Um. All right, let's go refill real quick. All right, cool. cool. I can get a right. refill myself. Well, uh, we'll be back with the beginning of the Monster Mash. Nice. Not the song. We'll Boom. <laughs> All right. We're back with the beginning of the Monster Mash. <laughs> That's what you said. Like, you're like, from 19? <laughs> I was like, what? No. <laughs> like, fucking, there's like, all right, let's take countdown. 30. 20. He's like, why the fuck did you start at 30? <laughs> all right. I mean, it's just as good as any other number, right? Yeah. He's like, oh, all right. You keep counting down. I'm going to go to the kitchen real quick. <laughs> 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 And that's why closer. we have a countdown. When you get closer, let me know. It's a James Bond timer. <laughs> <laughs> For my beloved dad, Antonio Tarasi. Tarasi. Yes, it's Tarasi. I that, that I do remember from talking to them. Um, which I don't think I gave the the names and stuff on this one. Warning. So when you say you talk to them, who did you talk to? It was uh, the two directors. Yeah, this was. Uh, hold on, I'll I'll get the names because I'm gonna feel terrible if I don't mention the names. This drink is so good. <laughs> what are you guys drinking? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Crown Royal, but like we went to uh, 
Sam's <laughs> Club. And it's like that Members Mark Canadian whiskey that is like almost the same shape of a Crown Royal bottle, and it's the same colors, mm. and it's the same, <laughs> you know. It's like you know, yeah, I got you. Like a uh, Costco's vodka is Grey Goose. Grey Goose, yeah, yeah. So I'm guessing that Members Mark or Sam's Club Canadian whiskey is fucking Crown. Nice, but. It was my kid's birthday over the weekend, so this weekend was just been, it was a four-day weekend, and on top of that, it was like his birthday, his birthday party, Easter, like fucking no school, then April Fool's, and like all this shit. <laughs> so <clears throat> we had to go to Sam's Club and get a fucking gigantic load of uh, liquor. So these One vat of liquor, please. Dude. I was like, do you <laughs> just leave it on the crate? Or the pallet, and I'll just fucking load it up. <laughs> it's like, yes, sir. Here we go. What are your so, delivery charges like? Right. What's that? They're like, no. I was like, yeah. here's my address. <laughs> Throw on yeah. a tomahawk steak at the top of it all, and then fucking meet me at my house. Yeah, but yeah. No, I talked to who was it? Kevin <clears throat> Losani and Richard Tarasi, the directors. I like how it said the nice. old school. The old school TV that's doing the montage of monsters, and then here's the oh, yeah. movie name, the Monster Mash. Is that Hotel Transylvania? That looks like Transylvania. <sighs> this is Doctor Freudstein. Freudstein. Uh, Freudstein? Freudstein. What's that the real name? Freudstein. Frankenstein kind of thing. But it's, it's just uh, talking reminds about me of uh, Chillerama. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. oh, Fulci. Antonio Fulci. It says Fulci lives. Oh, I thought that said Fauci. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different kind of horror movie. Yeah, they're uh, that's it's way different. Apparently, big Jalo fans. Uh oh. I'm pretty sure this dude was fucking in Men in Black. This is actually Michael Gentile, who, like, I, I believe he died. Shortly after filming this, oh fuck, man! I said that. No, you're you're good. God damn! <laughs> All right, because <laughs> they they mentioned it to me that he was in a good portion of the movie. He plays like three different people. He was in Powder though, for sure, right? He was that main. Character. I was. Uh, that's where my <laughs> mind went. <laughs> and who remembers that fucking movie, man? You know oh, what? God. Honestly, I've never seen that movie. That, I watched it. That came out when I was in high school. I want to see that movie. Because that movie and Phenomenon came out at the same time. Oh, yeah. And so I watched Phenomenon. The funk phenomenon? What? The funk Phenomenon. The Funk Phenomenon, right? Yeah, yeah no? right. Funk Who the phenomenon. fuck? And all of a sudden, here comes Igor. Is that yeah. a fucking military helmet? What the fuck? Brain bucket, man. <laughs> that is like an old school, like a... Uh, Mash like, looking like, helmet. Yeah. He's got that DMX chain on. Oh. As soon as bullets hit it, it's like, but you, but you, but you. He just did. He's never skipped back day in his life. He just does <laughs> not stop lat pulls. Yeah, I guarantee it. So is that a thing that like, I, I wonder, like, because they call it like, it's, it's like a medical thing. It's kyphosis when you're hunched forward. Like, like if you did just nothing but lat pulls, would you just look like, like a hunchback? Maybe and then you got those white ass lats you can't fit through doors. All blown out. <laughs> right. <laughs> but then, if he quits does doing it or he gets the what is it, the copper fit, whatever the fuck those things are. Get copper fit. <laughs> Correct your fucking pigeon leg and something walking toes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so fucking powder and fucking lat puller just over a dead body laughing at. Oh, let me see. Uh, a lady of the night. So I think the premise is uh, we're watching this guy's show, different kind of like, um, I don't know, uh, almost like a Tales from the Crypt where it's like just different stories. Yeah. It would be official. Which uh, I didn't realize until after I watched this that that is Justina Valentine from, uh, from Wild and Out. Nah, didn't really watch all that, but she has some uh, movies for boobies I can see right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. But she's quickly Being murdered. Murked, but I did like how when he murked her, he zoomed in on her cleavage. <laughs> Is it weird to say I like the way she died? Right? <laughs> she died real nice. 
<laughs> like he like stabbed everywhere but her boobies. He's like, can't mess these bad boys up. <laughs> so he just what? throws like a box on her. The film box? That's a film box, yeah. It was just a box of magnums. <laughs> I see you in hell with my little wiener. And like, that's what he's all pissed about. It reminds me of uh, Frank from Always Sunny, where he walked around with a magnum condom in his pocket. <laughs> magnum condom for my magnum dong. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I was going to slay you, but condoms are always so loose on me. <laughs> That's why I'm going to be in this movie called Mandy and start my own cult for baby dicks. <laughs> you ever seen that movie, Mandy? Uh, not Nicolas yet. Cage. It's no. a great storyline, but like it's it's physically dark. Like you can't see anything. Like they literally, it just looks like they used a fucking lighter as their light. <laughs> yeah, I think I started watching like the first 10, 15 minutes of it, and then I had to step away. And I don't like like starting something and then having to get back to it. I like to like sit and just kind of immerse myself in it. So I just never picked it back up. But I want to give it its full attention because I'm a huge fan of uh, Panos Cosmatos. He did the Beyond the Black Rainbow, and that movie is one of my favorites. So I would imagine Mandy's kind of right up there with that stuff. Yeah, it's it it's really good. good story. Yeah. yeah. So now we're at a gas station. Is it the gas station where she was just murdered? Uh, uh, these guys just getting coffee and watching the fucking was that a dinosaur show on? I, I think so. <laughs> just two T Rexes murdering each other, whispering hollow words. Which it comes off of the sign. In case you didn't notice, the sign was there. Um, got mad PowerPoint skills. <laughs> They're in fucking Nebraska for sure. So look many, at all that corn. So much corn. So much wheat. Oh, you guys ever done cow tipping? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Gonna get. I'll honk a cow. You honk a cow when you drive by him. <laughs> oh, Brad. Oh, I'm trying to think. I guarantee yeah. this dude's in a fucking Mustang. <laughs> Let's see what it is. What the fuck is, is that? A Geo a Metro? Fiesta. No, it's like a Ford Fiesta. Ooh, nowhere near. Yeah, this does look like amazingly <clears throat> like. That's a Scion. Is that a Scion? A Scion what? Scion POS. <laughs> it's a Toyota. Maybe it's a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> nope, that is a Scion side, and a yellow yellow license plate. Is that That's New York? No, New York maybe. New York has cornfields. I thought they just had rappers and fucking a bunch of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> they just had rappers and Wu-Tang. I love Wu-Tang. Then we get a different guy driving in the <clears throat> in the darkness. God. All right. I see the car lights are on now. Or is this the same guy? Like he fuck like no, that dude's all he looks like Slenderman now. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Oh, just kidding. It might have been what the fuck? Was that a Jabberwocky? Good call, man. Yeah, there's just see if I'm driving. What the fuck it is Banaka's Who mouth? Who still uses Banaka? I haven't used Banaka since I used it to start a fire <laughs> somewhere. God damn. Do they even sell Banaka? Like remember I think so. I remember in like junior high, they're like, if you spray this 13 times, it'll split your Adam's apple or whatever the fuck dangles <laughs> down the back of your throat. And kids like, watch this. It's like, K -k 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 -k, and they couldn't ever make it. What the fuck? I, so now there's. Yeah, it looks like that chick from Audition. Yeah. <laughs> I was so going to say, it looks like it's the Japanese ninja from fucking Wolverine. Because he has some girl <laughs> just. Oh, Lady Deathstrike, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good pull. <laughs> All right. So now he's just going to go and try to pick up sheep. Do you understand murder? If I lived in like a small town where it looks like they live in, where the, I'm guessing there's not a lot of uh, different ethnicities in this town. Just guessing by cornfields and, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. all of a sudden there was this Japanese woman on the side of the road dressed like a ninja, I wouldn't be like, what's up? You want to get him my bride? 
<laughs> I got some banaka in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like just call me nuts, but I don't think he's going to end well. This guy's vernacular is like super old school. He keeps saying words like G and Shuck and yeah. But I, that, that's one of the things I did. I, I think I initially liked about this movie is how like stilted the dialogue is and how, um, yeah, it just, it feels very, you know, intentional. Like it was in the seventies. See, it, this... it didn't feel like a real life conversation. Right. Oh, <laughs> uh, so he's saying, Hey, scouts honor. I know it's not good to get in stranger cars, but I'm not a bad guy. After watching the movie monster with like, what, Charlie's Theron. Oh yeah. And, uh, <laughs> um, Wednesday. Like yeah. 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 Christina Ricci. Yeah. yeah I that love that day, movie, man. I quit picking up highway prostitutes. <laughs> that day? That, that day. Was dude, that, day. that was the day. Got when it. I <laughs> saw that movie, I was like, never again, Brian. <laughs> I went cold turkey. Not me. <laughs> You're not going to get me in a, in the woods. <laughs> So this is Andrew in the car. But he's cool. And he says that his friends call him Andy. <laughs> <clears throat> see, and see, even a weirdo, like he's trying to talk to this girl, like, okay, get in the car. And so she finally gets in the car and then he's trying to talk to her. And she like, does the like look up away and to the right away from him. I'd be like, all right, you fucking weirdo. Get out of my car. So her name's Sky, And now he, is guessing her ethnicity. God damn. That's like, how you pick up on shit. Yeah. He's like, insert stereotype here. And that's what you do. White guy making conversation. You look like you're, you're Asian. Like the <laughs> best part was there's like, Oh, you know, like what part of China are you from? There's like, Oh, I'm fucking Laotian. Oh, so is that North China? And there's like, God damn it. It's not even Chinese motherfucker. It's, it's Lao. Right. And there's like, Oh, uh, okay. So, Something else. <laughs> that reminds me of King of the Hill. <laughs> Ooh, so he finally got her. Yeah. So is he wearing a ring? He's wearing a... It's a uh, class ring. It's a class ring. He's like, this was a class. Face. That's a class ring. Oh, wow. He's going to... The smooth move. He's going to ask her, Do you, would you like to listen to music while we drive? No, I'd like to listen to silence. Right? I, I, I would like to listen to silence. But, I mean, she is acting like a super weirdo. Yes, she is. I guarantee <laughs> she likes fucking Braveheart swords and clouds. <laughs> Our name is Sky, so... There is nothing go. wrong with broadswords. <laughs> the I bet this dude is telling himself, he's like, he's probably like, I'm nailing this. Like, this I'm is going great. It. He is. He's like, I'm going to get my wiener played with so many times <laughs> now. Except the fact that he's like, I like all music, jazz. You can't start out like that. I was like, hey, what's up? My name is Brian. I like jazz music. They'd be like, all right, thanks. Anyways, what do you guys get away from me, weirdo? There's a couple things you can't fucking start out a conversation with. Well, also, it's like I like everything, like polka. Like, look at me. I have no personality. I just agree with everybody. Right. (laughs) I have no firm opinions about anything. Have you seen my class ring? <laughs> Usually I don't wear my letterman, but I don't got it right now. Except my mom's. <laughs> she kept my... You know, he's telling her, like, coach would have put me in high school, senior year. <laughs> we would have won state. We would have won state. How much do <laughs> you want to bet I could throw this football over them mountains? <laughs> oh, finally, he's like, I'll keep quiet. God, he finally gets it. You're so. now pissed. Oh, just kidding. He's not. Oh, yep. do you like yep. movies? No, you meant I'll just I'll be quiet about the music. Let's move on oh, to music. Oh, see, <laughs> let me find a new topic. That's where they get you. <laughs> Talk endlessly. But like how he's like, you like movies? You know, like cinema. What the fuck? Whoever, <laughs> whoever says, said, "Hey, my name is Brian. I watch cinema. I like I went cinema." <laughs> Oh, oh, he's switching. Is he trying oh. to like figure it out? Like with what? Oh, now he's back to guessing her race. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, mm, <laughs> stop me when I get close. And then he's like, oh, you're not a local gal. Obviously, if she fucking... <laughs> what the hell? Bro, there's like nine people in that whole county, and she's not one of them. So that's why he has to guess. And the other seven people... 
stay away from him because he just wants to endlessly talk to you about music and movies and guess your race. Like he would really mess up. She was just like <laughs> hella tanned and had like a bad face job. And so she was just like some Caucasian white woman with like, I don't know, 5% downs. And then she just looks like this and he's like, Oh, what are you? And he keeps trying to guess every single fucking Asian race that he can think of. Do you think that everybody's just like, Oh God, there's Andy. He's, he's going to oh. ask, he's going to ask, oh if he's going to ask if you're Latino. Every are time you, he goes are, to a are grocery you from Mexico? store, <laughs> every time he goes out to a grocery store, yeah. like, like Ace Hardware, I'm like, God damn it. Here comes Andy again. He's got some more home DIY projects. <laughs> Oh, you ran into Andy? Did he tell you? Did he show you the class ring? I know, right? <laughs> we still wearing it. <laughs> like he rode the I, bench all fucking. <laughs> that's <laughs> totally a that's ago. totally a New York plate. Yeah, that is. So what if we're he... completely wrong? We're actually in London. Stop. <laughs> yeah. It's a rental. You know how like the rental agencies is cars all over the place, right? Yeah. It's a New York car in London. There in fucking Montana. So he stops off at, I don't know, it's really not well lit, like a house, I guess. It no, it's like a gas fucking, gas station. Oh wow, oh. I was way off. I was say a barn. <laughs> it's like this. It's like here's the creepy thing. If I were to pick up a hitchhiker and be like, "All right, stay here in this really creepy dark place," and I left, me, if I was the hitchhiker, I'd be like, "Fuck this!" I'd get out and leave. But then if I was the guy and I came back and I was like, what the fuck? This weirdo's still in my car. Like, I thought that hopefully this would scare him. And they'd get the fuck out. <clears throat> so now there's going to be in a dick swinging contest and see who murders who first. I'm going to go to the trunk. Phone. Where? What? When is this? Because that's a modern car, but you're looking for a pay phone. And those have like gone the way of the Dodo years ago. I think it's Scion. supposed to be the seventies, but in a scion, in a scion, got it's it. Trans, it. It's a it's a time travel car. I knew this son of a ah. bitch. That's a DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> the gull wings are hidden. They're oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, so like, I need truck. to go to the trunk of my car and check something. So he's got a dead body. I think he just Fresh fingered her mouth real quick. That's Ew. gross. <laughs> Let me, let me go. Save that for later. Like, <laughs> How are you? Now that wiggles him around. Still dead? Okay. Let's let's keep going. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> oh, I better grab that flashlight before I get that called out on my cell phone. <laughs> oh, the camcorder. The camcorder. This guy is all, all over the place. Right. So he's a murderer. He's got like that... a fucking iPhone 13, but he's got like a a VHS. <laughs> Handheld camcorder. Looking for a payphone driving around in his scion. With a cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if she doesn't speak English, you just need to speak louder. <laughs> yes. Then that's that's the universal language. Ugh. Oh god. Then he pulls the camcorder out, puts it right in her face, like, are you hungry? Well, of all the things that he could have pulled out. Camp <laughs> is probably the safest. You know? I'm guessing he's going to try to pull a glizzy out. <laughs> <laughs> but she seems way too chill about this, which may, I would be more afraid of her. That looks like him. one of those like 1480s cameras where like you throw that carp, the tarp over the back of you and it like <laughs> shoots up the flame. <laughs> looks like uh, that's what's going to happen. Everybody hold still Hard for 15 flash. minutes. Yes. <laughs> it's like it takes like 16 light bulbs. Like. <laughs> and it blows up and all that smoke <laughs> goes off. Looks like that's what the fuck he's doing. And like is does he have a tripod that he's holding on this camera while it's right in her face? Oh. He has an index ring on his left hand, too. How many rings legally are men allowed to wear? Um ugh. I mean Phil Jackson wore like what was it? How many well, NBA I mean, rings? Did that's he have? because Jordan's the GOAT. And he has all those rings. No, there was that week he had to send, uh, was it tweets or like Facebook messages with all of his rings on, uh, on all his fingers. So it was just like a bunch of letters. Yeah. But you see, that's funny. Like if me and you had a bet and I was like, Anthony, if you're wrong, you have to wear fucking twice as many rings and bracelets as Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's funny. It's like, I don't think I can pull it off. <laughs> well, you're just like, Brian, hurry up. We got to go. I'd be like, hold on. I'm trying to pair up my rings. Do you remember? Um, have you guys seen I'm Going to Get You Sucker? Hell yeah. yeah. And the, the premise is that the youngest brother, Junebug, died of OG. He overgold. Yeah. yeah. And there's that Polaroid <laughs> of him just covered in gold. Yeah, yeah. I can see Anthony like that. <laughs> see if I was like, all right, Anthony. I'm trying to get too many. Get that Riz up and let's fucking do this. <laughs> oh. So I thought he... I'd never hear Brian say Riz. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to start using all this shit. No cap. So now no he's... cap. <laughs> he's trying so to he's... murder her. Dude, he's buff, man. That must be it's like the leather a, jacket. It gives him power. It makes fart sounds, <laughs> and they're trying not to laugh while they kill him. <laughs> so I'm just assuming that he's right-handed because he was holding the camera with his right hand. That means mm-hmm. he one-handed choked her to death with his left non-dominant hand while he recorded with his right hand. Could be ambidextrous. So now but he's still he dragging her in. Yeah. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like this dude, he for sure had Wheaties for breakfast. So he murders her in the car after he's like trying to get her on film. And then now he's like dragging her into the abandoned gas station. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to dead by in your front seat. Yeah. Well, but why wouldn't you just do the whole murder in here? Cause I would like leave no evidence. Because you ever a lot of work getting her out of the car. Ew. Now he's like feeling her up. Ew. You ever Is that what he's that doing? Russian car fighting, car jujitsu? <laughs> you ever seen that shit? No, but I've seen like the the phone booth MMA shit. That's exactly like that, except you're in a fucking yeah. car. It's like, oh, <laughs> he went for the seatbelt. Like <laughs> that's the fucking that's the key to win. Instead of unbuckling your seatbelt first, you hurry and hold their seatbelt so they can't unbuckle it, and then you unbuckle yours, and then you can fucking, dude, look that Ew. shit up, man. So he said, he said, don't worry, I'm not going to bury you. I'm going to take you home with me, and then start sniffing her feet. And there's some boobies. Those, God damn it, those aren't even boobies. That's a fucking sex doll. That's like doll. the CPR doll. If, if the yeah. CPR doll had, yeah. had boobs, that's what that would be. God damn it. The weirdest semi right now, I guess. <laughs> oh, this God. is taking a different turn. Oh. Well, okay, that, that's kind of more of what I expected. So now he's going to chop her up. What if he has chopped her boobs off? <laughs> so he has like a pipe cutter, right? Like a PVC oh. pipe cutter. Oh, and guess what, bitch? She's a fucking powder zombie like a zombie she looks like nosferatu she does she looks yeah. like nosferatu Jeez. Oh, and oh, she's wow. elating him yep. that's yep. not how you want oh. somebody to go down yep. on you oh <laughs> <laughs> that that's that that is the opposite of good she just lorena bobbited him with her mouth <laughs> Jeez. oh now she's gonna she's eat his not fish hooking him but she's separating his jaws oh god oh gnarly is that her tongue? That's her, well. Like going into his mouth? And it's, it feels good, apparently, because he went cross-eyed. <laughs> that looks like fruit by the foot. He's like, oh, I'm going to come. <laughs> and then he died. And then backwards. And now she's happy. She just rejoiced. She's like, ha ha, I'm the bus driver. And now <laughs> she's yelling. She's doing her victory scream. <laughs> I'm like I did it. That's Al. <gasps> so, oh well. Wow. Owls are so good. Dude, you know that owls make zero sound when they fly? Zero sound. Like I saw no. this video on Instagram like I can't remember what it's called like nature something, but they released all these birds over these microphones from like one side of the room to the other side of the room and like they had like hawks and pigeons and fucking everything. And all these birds made sounds when they flew, and they fucking released an owl. Zero sound. And you're like, how the fuck is that even possible? It's fucking nuts. And they don't even shit. They just it's got those little shitty pellets. <laughs> yeah, I found one on my front porch one time. I don't know what it was. And my wife grew up on a farm. She was like, that's like owl. Like they regurgitate that shit or whatever. Something. Owls like, have oh. buttholes? 
I don't know. They for sure got to. Right? I've never searched got an it, right? owl. Well, <laughs> they should. Here comes a fucking poll question. <laughs> Do owls? There mm-hmm. we go. <laughs> Do if owl. you got an if you got an entrance, you gotta have an exit, right? I would but why, then why they regurgitate it? Why don't they fucking shit it out? I don't know, man. But See? He, here comes the, the crazy sky sh- the vampire girl. Damn. I thought she was flying, but it's her face coming into the light. I thought yeah. she was like <laughs> flying like fucking This is that very authentic 70s lighting where like half the time you're like, huh? <clears throat> I, I can't quite see. God damn it. And then another fucking pervy looking old white guy. Hey, what's up, girl? You need a ride? She's got, she's got a type. You want to suck this dick? <laughs> Here Are you, you insured? Sure. Jump in. Here we go. How's it a scion? Know? It'd be great if it was a scion. God. <laughs> Have you seen my friend Andy? He was coming over from my house later on tonight. <laughs> I haven't heard him from him lately. He always asks me, like, oh, are you, white? Are, you, are you German? <laughs> he always tries to guess people's uh, ethnicities and talks about fucking what kind of music he listens to. Are, are you German? Are you Austrian? Exactly. Like, <laughs> God damn it. He's got this killer class ring. You'd totally be able to identify him. <laughs> <laughs> He usually has a Leatherman, but or Letterman, but he <laughs> we're actually on our way over to his mom's house right now <laughs> to eat some fucking hot pockets and fucking play Atari. Whispering Hollow Road. There you go. That was so, segment oh. one. That's Six. oh wow. That's the first uh, the first movie. So yeah, that's what his corner prostitute was. See, I knew Valentine. Sky was Cherry Foo. Cherry Foo. Let me tag her. Finn. Finn. What the Finn. fuck? It, it means finished. Yep. <laughs> what was her name? Cherry Foo. Cherry Foo. Cherry Foo. And we're back with uh, Doctor Freudstein. God damn it. Freudstein. What is it, a Freudian slip where he's like, oh, and then there was these big dicks. Oh, I mean trees. Oh. <laughs> no, you didn't. So now he's just on that amazing TV. Remember you always had to put that TV to Channel 4 to play Nintendo? Ugh, channel, mine was Channel 3. There's either Channel 3 or Channel 4. One of them. Well, if they I think it's the way you set your Nintendo. Dude, I remember like my mom knew that like you could unplug like the the yellow one and then be able to watch TV, but it would save your game going. I was like, no, do it, mom. There's no save on the fucking Nintendo. It's like, <laughs> watch this and unplug. And I was like, damn. And so I tried to do it, but I unplugged like the white one. It's like, wah, wah. no fucking power, bitch. And I was like, no, like it was the most devastating blow in the world. I was like a fucking nine year old. All nine of those levels again. Oh, <laughs> we're starting a new movie called The House. Yeah. I bet this is going to be in a car. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah. It could be. What if you live in your car? It'll be in a Hummer. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's an, an RV. A 1970s Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are legit. Those are the best ones. <laughs> Those should be the only ones. You know, they're coming out with a fucking like... You ever seen those memes where it's like a wolf and then it's like a thousand years later and then it's like a fucking little Pekingese dog and the <laughs> yeah, like, what a yeah, yeah. piece of shit. Like, could you imagine you know they're coming out with a fucking electric Hummer? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Like a re- <laughs> like the starting base for a Hummer was like 80 grand. A decked out H2 was like 50 grand. Where the fuck is that other 30 grand? They're like, don't put it in. Fuck, don't give them amazing <laughs> tires. Don't let them literally climb walls. Don't fucking let it be indestructible. You know, we'll give LeBron's James one when he's in high school and we'll call it good. <laughs> I love how those cars like hit the market when like gas was just on the rise and so <laughs> expensive. And they're like, you know what? People are dumb enough. They'll buy this shit because it looks cool. Let's buy and it. And we H3. My mom had an H three, but those ones at she got least so, she got what? so pissed when I took it off roading. I was like, "This is exactly what this car is made That's for." Meant for, yeah. Right? 
Oh. Phantasm. Phantasma. Oh, hold on. Freak show. Oh, wow. Oh, it does. Have, uh... We have somebody dry humping. You can see that the <laughs> the dress is still covering. Yeah. I mean, at least they're like, okay, we oh, watch other movies. Like, at least they're, you know, in the right area. And it's like, right. they're not, they're not you know. humping each other's belly buttons. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like how Which, we I know mean, what's going on because. Have, have sex to your own comfort, though, in a movie. <laughs> yeah. Dry hump your own belly button. <laughs> But I do like how even if we didn't know what was going on on the wall, there's a neon sign that just says freak show. Whose room do you think this is? Hers or his? I think like, whose sign is that? Is that you? I think that's his sign. For sure. It's his. <laughs> oh, it's still hard. You want to go again? No. See, and that was another question that Anthony and I always ask. If you paid for a prostitute for one hour, but it only takes you about five minutes to get off, could you continue to be like, hey, I'm ready to go. Hey, I'm ready to go and actually get off like four or five times within that hour? Or do you think there's like, no, bitch, you only get to go once? <laughs> mm, I think that needs to be negotiated up front because yeah. I am I am the type who, if I were to do that, not saying I have. Mm-hmm. I would say no. I paid for an hour. I get my money's worth. See, whatever that means. <laughs> That's what I do. I'd say, you know what? I'm the premature ejaculator, and then the two pump chump, and then something else. <laughs> I just bring like a gallon of Gatorade with me and be like, I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for this next hour. Some bananas and some protein bars. Yeah. Are you ready for this disappointment? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to be disappointed for the next 57 minutes? <laughs> God. Damn. Are you ready to be completely underwhelmed? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ready to go to your next person and not even act like we did anything? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is going to be a really bad no, question for me like to a, ask, but does she look couple. pregnant? Kind of. Yeah, they were just talking about her. What They were talking about the baby coming. and So they're a couple. So that means that she approved that. That's true. All right. Well, I've been married for 13 years and everything goes through an <clears throat> approval process. Well, yes. I'm going to go upstairs and wake my wife up and be like, look, <laughs> this what the fuck we're getting on our anniversary. <laughs> We need a neon light that just says freak show. So when our 10-year-old comes over, we'll be like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Mind your business, son. Stop asking so many questions. Get my class ring. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so now they're driving. That's a cool bobblehead, though. That is. Is that a lumberjack? Well, there's your plaid. Damn. That's an omen. Somebody's gonna die. That's one of our uh, one of our, our our horror movie rules: is don't wear plaid. Mm. People will die. Everybody who wears plaid in a horror movie usually dies. Well, yeah, it's like ninety five percent for us. <sighs> yeah, but that dude's rocking a leather jacket. Like, I'm gonna be like hyper focused on plaid, dude. <laughs> Watch it, man. Gizmos and gremlins. So it looks like we're in a, like the man. same area. Did you say something? No. <laughs> yeah, it looks like like we're in the same area that the last one was shot too, because it's more field. No, yeah, for sure. Was that a fucking scion too? See, I'd be honking right now. All those cows that are right there, I'd say "fuck you" and start honking at them. Let them know that you're there. <laughs> and they uh, even mentioned uh, John Landis and. Uh, the what is it american werewolf in london mm, maybe. i fucking love that movie man it's a great movie and now here comes it's just a montage of driving <laughs> do you remember the days when this would take up just minutes of Damn. a movie and now it's like are they down we south? got three minutes of driving and that's it that you get no sure. more driving because it's an like, old plantation house. That is. I'm just going to say, I'm well, pretty sure like, that was a house in Django Unchained. That's an estate house. That is very nice. <laughs> it is a very nice house. How much do yeah. you think it costs to get that shit? If you're just like, you know those motherfuckers didn't have AC, 
They didn't have central air in those houses. The, well, vaulted ceilings look at this house and like, this house is just like, hold my beer. <laughs> my, my ceilings are higher than yours. <laughs> That's really just a one story house. It's just fucking 80 feet tall. Jeez. Good luck getting those spider webs out, bitch. <laughs> you got to get the extender. You put the extender on and put, put it the up ladder there. On the ladder. You put it up there. It's <laughs> so nice, babe. You get on the 10 foot ladder with the extender and you can get to almost all of the roof. Like you ever fucking built a a house out of cards? You just do that with ladders (laughs) and then you just fucking go for it. Who's this guy? So now. Oh, he's Cretan Reed. He owns the house. So they're. Does that shirt constitute plaid? uh, Oh, for sure it does. That does. Okay. Okay. Watch. So now. He's going to show them the house because I think he's selling them the house. Uh, that's an Airbnb. Or he's trying to trying to sell. That's an Airbnb, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I thought he was like showing a badge. Nope. He's like, oh, got my cell phone right here, Roger. Why does that guy dye his hair like that? This is so classic. While I'm fucking talking shit with my hair dyed like this. Like, you go, <laughs> <laughs> like, you go to buy a house now and you got to, like, you know, go through your list and look at stuff and all that and, like... <clears throat> If I sell my house, I say you're not allowed in it. You just like, look at it, and and the realtors <laughs> gotta like be there with you and all that. But like now in this in this one, that like let's just go look at a house. We're gonna drive two hours to go look at one house. What the fuck? Yeah, I'd say <laughs> no. You're a weirdo. <clears throat> I'd say you look like the type of couple that has a freak show lightning thing in your room. They'd be like, yeah, this is exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Laptops, cell phones. He's gonna ask me. He's like, what the fuck's Wi-Fi? The power grid ever fails. The city folk. See, if you ever live in a place where they say the city folk, turn around and leave. Instantly. <laughs> Run. That's my big bugaboo. <laughs> 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 or if you live in a place where you go, oh, we got to run into the city and go get some groceries. I'd be like, no. Oh, that's right. The husband in this one is Richard Lasani or uh, Kevin Lasani, one of the directors. That dude right there? Yeah, that's him. Well, this dude right here, Clayton or whatever his name is, uh, is by he's he's being played by a guy named William Cozy, who kind of looks familiar. So I started looking it up right now. But like the very first four um, entries in his IMDb, like the shit that he's known for, he was a uh, like a production assistant for Chasing Amy, a boom operator for The Greatest wow. Showman, the sound mixer on Boys Don't Cry. It's like. He's like part of some of the mo- more notable movies of the yeah, last 20 like, years. His acting credits are not like it's all like B stuff. But then like his like production stuff is all like A-list shit. It's crazy. Yeah, he was the boom operator on Mean Girls, the musical one. If he shows his chest, I'm pretty good at recognizing boobs. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's that guy from fucking Fast and Furious 8. Mr. Was, Skin ain't he, got shit on Brian. Mr. <laughs> uh, he was Mr. Russell in 555 Sexy. See, I knew it was something. <laughs> I got to find that. <laughs> <laughs> got the box set. <laughs> his little shitty... Fucking alcohol collection right there. Yeah. It's like it, a starter kit. It's like the, right. the wannabe liquor cabinet. It's like put, putting it. liquor on top of furniture. <laughs> that <laughs> shitty fireplace. <laughs> you know, always fucking funny. The people that like have like uh, the fireplaces out here in Vegas. Just in case it gets cold, we need to fucking put a fireplace. Like, I'm not going to say anything, but you know that like the house style that you have. Yeah. That was a fucking extra, like, you know, the, the deck where it could be Mm -hmm. to put a fireplace up there. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was like for only $25,000, you could put a fireplace Um, right here. And you're just like, no, exactly. No, because you'd be able to use that fireplace one week out of the year. I have a fire pit (laughs) in my backyard. Exactly. I, we hardly ever use that. Exactly. I don't think I've used that. I was to think about the concept of a fireplace. Like you guys live in a desert. 
Where do you go to get firewood in a desert? Albertsons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smith's, Albertsons. When I go to Sam's Club and buy a pallet of liquor, I just chop the pallet up. And I've got a pallet chopped up in my garage right now. <laughs> there you go. See, you got to use all of it. See? It's like when you murder an animal and you fucking use its bones for like fucking weapons and everything like that. You got to use everything. A pallet, the nails. My grandpa built his house with fucking pallet nails. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get out of this house now. None of the walls are even. <laughs> so now. Is it the fall? What the fuck is that? A mirror image? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. That, that was oh, an intentional. It was one of those funny memes image, with the sun yeah. setting and it's going to show something bad happen. This is a hunting room. Yeah, yeah, so we have all the, the, Ooh, the a saber tooth skull on the fucking kitchen room table. Come and sit down. <laughs> you can't sit right here though, because fucking we got Wolverine's brother. Exactly. <laughs> and this dude just walking and taking pictures. He's giving a tour of the house. This is my grandma and grandpa used to fucking smoke cigars out of pipes. <laughs> That's why they just painted the walls. They gotta cover up all that tobacco smell. Yeah, that's why all those <laughs> curtains are closed. <laughs> They're trying to keep the house dimmed. Oh, he's doing that thing where like, call me, call me Creighton. Like my dad was Mister Reed. <laughs> Look at me, and he's looking around like, hey, what's going on? I'm I'm cool. A hip hop. A hip to the hip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hip to the lingo. I'm hip. <laughs> the bang bang boogie the beat. He just starts trying to do the fucking rap. <laughs> He's like, I listen to. <laughs> no. Oh, her name's Sarah. I do like that she has S A R A instead of with an H. Yeah. It's my little sister, how she spells her name. You know, you know how many times, you know how many Brian's there are? There's like with a Y. And I was like, no, I spell it correctly with an I. What kind of maniac spells it with a Y? <laughs> right. <clears throat> I used to work with this lady and she'd email me. I don't know, 10 times a day. And every single time she'd email me, it was a new way to spell my name. <laughs> I was like, at some point she's doing it on purpose. Like she's trolling me. You know? You're all wearing my name. Does it sound like a G? Come on. Dude, it's a silent <laughs> F is in there. Like, you know, like knife, like the K is silent. So she'd be like, B R K Y A. And I'd be like, what the fuck is this? And she's like, got you, you son of a bitch. Mm hmm. Speaking of psychopath, Sarah takes her coffee with honey. Yeah. She's trying to get rid of that sweet tooth. I mean, I'm sure that's that that's certainly a way to do it. I mean, I'm more Anthony of a, drinks coffee. I'm more of a creamer person. Nah, drink it with honey tomorrow. <laughs> Let us know how it goes. <laughs> that sounds gross and syrupy. I don't think that even mixes. Nah, man. Like all if I ever have like Why is my coffee so sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it gloopy? Dude, if I have like tea, like if I have like a sore throat or something from screaming at people, then so I put honey in. Is that why you were asking about the kindergartners? Hell yeah, dude! My principal, <laughs> my principal, or our son's principal, he sends out m movies every fucking day telling parents, "Don't do this, don't do this," and parents still do it. So every day I have to fucking chalk up my middle fingers to other parents. And yell at them, you know. Me, I can see you just getting ready in the garage like LeBron with the fucking dude. I get <laughs> pumped up, dude. I get pumped up. My kids like, what are you doing, Dad? We're just gonna drive. Like my school's like one point five miles away from the house. And I was like, oh, I know. Like, I know. I'm fucking ready. I'm, but I'm like, ready to bust the nice the dad, the nice dad, and everything. Like, oh, have a good day, son. I love you. I'll see you in a little bit. As soon as he gets out and that door closes, I fucking switched over to like some fucking, I don't know, slipknot. I was like, fuck you. Woo! <laughs> oh, dude. It's like fucking Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde when I drop my kid off. I'm a perfect <laughs> angel when he's in the car. As soon as he gets out of it, oh, fuck these parents. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, dude. So now he got them their drinks, but now he's staring at them as they drink. We got that like eye line shot from everybody he just roofied the fuck out of him yeah he did see 
That's why you don't drink coffee at night. If you stare at me as I drink, I'm going to take the first sip and put it down and be like, I'm good. I think it's mm-hmm. 98% of coffee served after 6 p.m. have roofies in them. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a little chunky, but it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> right? Then instantly they fall asleep. How much honey did you put in here? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's T- It's just dab. It's fucking THC. <laughs> Wax. <laughs> I'm about to be fucking high as a kite in a matter of seconds. See? Look at her. She can't even stand up. She's baked as fuck. And he's and the husband is highly concerned. Is she diabetic? What? what I mean, fuck? that is a legitimate question because gestational diabetes is a real thing. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, why? Because she drank fucking coffee and honey. If you fucking know that she has a baby inside of her, and why she- would you give her coffee in the first place? You can have a cup of coffee at seven thirty at night. <laughs> There's no rule about when you have it. Okay, it's just like okay, thank you. So tomorrow morning, I can wake up and be like, "Yep, I can have my fucking beer." And now that, I was like, going to say it's a double standard, right? Because that doesn't you can't say the same thing about whiskey or oh, time to take LSD. a shot. Dad, yeah. you just brushed your teeth. And look at this. I called it roofied both of them yeah and he did like this weird like like falling to the floor like i'm gonna stay Ugh. awake sleep 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 Ugh. and then the dude wearing new balance shoes comes up now it's all dark outside this looks like the phantasm house now when it's like oh dude i just watched that movie like 20 minutes before i came on to this i love that movie one so much. two or what no the first one so there's a and record not player. Wrong. It was just like that. Love that movie. There's a record player plan. No. And you know, it's funny. In high school, my my buddy had a record player. Where it's like, hey, let's do DJ. We fucked the shit up <laughs> out of his dad's record and needle. He's like, wait, 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 wait. Kept fucking doing it. Oh, jeez. Yep. So now Uh-oh. the wife is tied up. That's a long ass needle, dude. That's like fucking. That's like a drill bit. Right, it, it, you know, come to think about it, goddamn, it did look like a drill bit. Just, a, just yeah. <laughs> He's like my fucking son's like, friend came over earlier. They were playing DJ with it. <laughs> what the fuck kind of music is it? Classical music going on? Goddamn, when they were knocked out, did he punch him in the eyes? Yeah, her eyes look like Sleeping Beauty finally dark, awakes. Dark. What a weird ass fucking. Oh, just calm down, babe. Listen to the music. Isn't it gorgeous? God damn it. So she's just tied up. God, is that a sock in her mouth? Yeah, it's so gross. I don't care if you wash that sock. It's still gross. Yeah. Unless she fucking drinks pineapple juice. Did you use Tide? <laughs> <laughs> you got that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why does this talk? Why does this talk taste sweet? <laughs> this is weird. Oh, gross! A stranger. T- Ooh, that gave me. Right. <laughs> we taking bets on what's going to happen here? I'm thinking he's going to go in manually and try to rip the baby out of her butt. I think he's going to take the baby. Yeah, but as far as like the the groping touches so far, that is the creepiest with the fingers instead mm. of the whole hand. Mm-hmm. He's like. He's like, like trying to tickle her belly to tickle the baby <laughs> inside of it. Like fucking gross. What a weird. I know it's potentially about to come, but that's probably the worst part of this whole ordeal is him being like, tickle, 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 and getting her belly with it. <laughs> so where's uh, the other dude? Yeah, we haven't seen him. Probably tied up in another room, I would assume. What if he's not? Yeah, he said, he said he's not dead. He's just. Uh, in the other room. Wow, he's so wholesome. He's Reminds like, me of a uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Where like, oh yeah, Bill. Oh, good yeah. Good. <laughs> this is he's like a half the, fish now, but he's good. The 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 more well cut, sophisticated House of a Thousand Corpses. I don't think that this guy's certified to terminate this pregnancy, as they say. In yeah, I I, I just wonder what the approach here is. What if he like just would it work? I'll ask my mom if he just like got down in like the CPR position with his butt in her face and CPR down on the belly. If oh, it'd go boom and shoot out. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's so wrong. You know, it's like a pimple. <laughs> You're just like, oh, yeah. And you fucking do the D mock on her belly. <laughs> if the baby would be like, oh, yeah. Is that a blood sport reference? <laughs> Fuck yeah, it is. Frank <laughs> Duke. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Death touch. It's a like bottom <laughs> brick. He's like, see, watch this. He's filling her belly to see where the head is. Then he's going to go, key hop and fucking <laughs> five point palm exploding heart technique to her belly and get the baby out. So now he's explaining. Why is it Ripley? Oh, we're going in the past. Oh, I thought I was just super drunk already. To when he's four years old. <laughs> is he wearing a fucking rugby helmet? That's like a hunting cap. What the fuck is that? That's a werewolf. That's a chupacabra. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, shit. That's like a werewolf and a, like a wendigo. Good God. All right. Do you know how embarrassing it'd be if you got kidnapped in front of your kid? <laughs> like, if you got. Isn't that one of the fighters from like Killer Instinct? Oh, Jago. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, that was. Yeah. That son of a bitch. See what happens when you cancel fucking Killer Instinct games? <laughs> Combo breaker. <laughs> I had to fucking sell you. Yeah, I know it fucking broke my combo because I'm getting my ass whooped now. <laughs> what the fuck? And now we're. So he. I killed the man who raised me. So was that fucking Miguel from Cobra Kai? <laughs> so look how long I this story it. was. The story took the entire length of a fucking. What the fuck? A record. Yeah. A normal CD is like, what, an hour and a half long? Mm -hmm. I guarantee she's asleep. Oh, just kidding. She's not asleep. Well, records were really short back then. You got like six uh, six songs on a side. Yeah, so if each song is fucking... Like maybe four three, minutes. Three, four, four minutes. minutes. Okay, so four times six. Because it's got to be the one that, that can make radio. Because <clears> back <throat> then you could have like an eight-minute song, but they're not going to play it on radio. They're going to cut it. God damn. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? Still. That's still, she sat through fucking 47 minutes of him being like, yep, and then there was a wolf. He had a wiener. It was just dongalicious. <laughs> wiener, 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 like fucking, you know. Well, when you said dongalicious, I was thinking like Fergalicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> D to the O to the N to the L I C O. <laughs> so now the husband is in, God damn it, like a, a tool room. The basement? I don't know. One of these? Call it the family room. Family room? <laughs> I was going to say a boiler room in a house. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a boiler room in a house. When I build a room, when I build my next house, I'll be like, okay, I need the boiler room here. They'll be like, what the fuck? A boiler room in your house? Can like, you put hey, the boiler room next to the oh, kitchen? Oh, and there's a bunch I, I of I just need it there. I can't tell you why. Don't ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a severed up Jago and other body pieces? And then... A hanging camera. That's his camera. That's so nice. He left his camera. It's like when you leave a gun, like you're just like, I'm going to trust that they put ammunition in here. Like, why would he leave your fucking camera loaded for you? Because he's very thoughtful. He, he's, he might want to take your wife's baby, but he doesn't want to ruin your camera. Right. He's like, I know this thing costs a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> that door's made out of cardboard. That, yeah, Holy like, fuck. That's balsa wood, but he's. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, geez. I'm he like... opens the other door to just a, I'm going to say a den. Like this is. Oh, I thought that was going to have a lot more like a satanic uh, Jesus. room. But I like how the whatever that star David is, is right side up. So it's just a normal star. <laughs> yeah. Like, this should be upside down, Carl. No, it shouldn't. I don't like the upside down stars. I'm fucking patriotic, you piece of shit. When did he have this camera? I Did I miss that? Because, like, I thought he just took this random camera and just started taking pictures. No, that was his camera. He said he was a photographer. He's like a freelance photographer. Ah, I must have missed it. But did he bring his camera? Yeah, he brought it. He was oh. taking pictures when he got in. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. <clears throat> so now he's like trying to like one man 
room God clear well taking pictures you know he doesn't fight because like this is my weapon my camera my camera <laughs> my like, voice is my weapon well your voice is about to get punched it's like we're in the middle of a game of fatal frame look at what i can do. oh good call there hasn't been like a new version of that in years god look at how many skulls of people and animals there are in here i know now we get like wolf vision well, there's a reason why fucking saber-toothed tigers are fucking extinct. This guy has 87 <laughs> saber-toothed tiger skulls in his fucking basement. <laughs> like, he breeds them just to kill them for their skulls. <laughs> He's the fucking Troy Landry of fucking saber-toothed tigers. <laughs> oh, there, there's your, you know, your your classic um, 70s, 80s basement swinging light. That swings Why they all, like for no apparent reason? It just hangs. The earth rotates. <laughs> yeah, but you couldn't pull the string up and put it in the roof. I no. mean, because we can do pot lights. No. <laughs> you always have to have <laughs> lights at fucking waist high for <laughs> the dong picks. <laughs> so he runs into the uh oh the, the chupacabra. Werewolf. I'm saying that's a jubacabra. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! here it comes he's grabbing the hammer get the hammer so he's like holding it off with the hammer like inches from his body <laughs> that would be a struggle because it's like how much do you trust yourself with one hand to like reach over do a trick the it? fucking throat thing but can we uh pause real quick and fucking go grab a refill let's do it all right. We'll be back with uh, more of the Monster Mash. All right. So now the I mean, the wife is still tied up. That is a white ass sock, man. That is. He for sure bleaches his. Uh, he does not mix colors and whites in the in the one in the laundry like I do. Dude, I'm trying to teach my kid that because like he starts. He wants to start wearing white tees to shirt or God damn it, Brian. He wants to start wearing white tees to school. And you better make sure those things are crisp. No, they're fucking crisp as shit. <laughs> I bought him wife beaters and the white tee so he can layer it and then go. And yes. I got him like a fat ass like black chain. Yeah. But I was like, <laughs> dude, do not mix these with your fucking other ones. I was like, we need to keep these ones like, you know, bleached up. <gasps> oh, wow. So he, he now oh, his, his uh, fangs are coming out. All uneven. Ooh. Is he a werewolf? He's the Jubacabra. <laughs> his bones are cracking. <laughs> oh, his fingernails. Oh, you know he does coke. Oh, geez. And now his like face is all. Why did it start looking like he was the bad guy from fucking Showdown Little Tokyo before he explodes? He looks like um... Big Trouble in Little China. That's what it nah, looks like. The dude from Sleepwalkers. <laughs> the, oh, the face makeup almost older. Looks like uh, the vampires from like the first episode of Angel. <laughs> like it's the, the big oh. the big forehead and cheeks now it looks like those women that go way overboard with fucking plastic surgery and look like Ooh. cats <laughs> you know who we're talking about oh the cat lady who went bankrupt every cat woman well now there's yeah which one? <laughs> Oh, and then he's going full blown oh, Michael shit. Jackson and a <laughs> demon how it's not a demon man uh oh that dude's still fighting one in the basement. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this guy. So is this like a mini werewolf? God damn. He's been fighting this thing long enough. The other guy transformed. The Jubacabra were. He must have like It's like, a, it's sorry, like the Boy ahead. Scouts for werewolves where like you have to eat so many people before you get a badge <laughs> or you can move up to the next class. You have it, to level up. It's the Junior <laughs> Werewolf Academy. God damn it. This is the fucking <laughs> Epstein Island of fucking werewolves. There's a bunch of little kids locked up in the basement. There's like, all right. Every four weeks, you get to become a real werewolf. Oh. Ooh, oh, he killed man. fucking Jago wow. Jr. Yeah. <laughs> you know what would be fucked up is after he killed that thing, like it turned back into like the human form. And it's like a, a fucking eight-year-old kid. <laughs> like, okay, congrats. God oh, damn. damn. There you go. That's a baby. Oh my god. Yeah, I would throw up too. That was a it. 
Dude, that was like a six month old baby that was like a oh, fucking uh, teenage werewolf. Like, what the fuck? And now he's crying. See, I don't know. This would be this would be a really weird place for me. I, Why does he keep showing that baby's dick? I know. <laughs> There's so much baby dick in this. And the balls scene. haven't even dropped yet. So I mean <laughs> it's a little pecker. God damn it. I wish that this was fucking Michael J. Fox, Teen Wolf. Yeah. Dude, I was just going to say, he reminds me of the dad from Teen Wolf because of the outfit. Oh, yeah. Oh, Harry. The dad. Yeah, and he's got like the, the new balances, you know, and the khakis. And apparently when you're a werewolf, you have the shittiest vision. <laughs> What's that thing called when like you like... That looks like drunk vision. Where you <laughs> fucking... Oh, God damn. I can't remember what it's called. Where you, had, where you can't wear contacts. That vision so, sucks ass. So he's so the husband is hurriedly going through the kitchen looking for a giant knife. Who fucking puts their puts their fucking gigantic butcher knives and everything in the same drawer with their silverware? <laughs> That's a very odd half play. man, half chupacabras. Yeah. Boom! There you go. Oh, oh. so now he oh. has. He's trying to infect her. Oh, he ripped her nope. throat out. No. Yeah. He just rode her ass that. with his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and he's infecting the baby, though. I think he's going to eat it. I think it's one of those things where, like, if I eat the baby, I'll have eternal youth or some shit. God, he just wow, fucking just like, dalmers her. Like, just cut her stomach open with his nail and just going for the baby. Oh, all right. Here it comes. But that is a really Ooh, good gruesome. I was about to say, oh, I was about to say, what if that's a real baby? <laughs> it's like just we need your baby for like 30 seconds all right we'll just, we'll just pretend to pull it out of this body cavity <laughs> oh the baby's crying Ooh, and then there's michael J just giving that mean stare down it's, and he sees the wife still tied oh shit damn so he's attacking this dude. He's going ham with that butcher's knife. And like knocks the baby out of his hand. Yeah, fuck that baby, right? Don't protect it. <laughs> God. He's dropped the baby on the ground. He's blinded with rage. God damn, that werewolf is tough. He got stabbed easily like 17 times, uh, but he still grabbed the guy by the head. He outgrew his new balances. <laughs> Why are his bones cracking? And now he's... Is he it's like a Pokemon. It's like the next evolution. I was about to say, is he getting bigger and buffer? Like, God damn. Yeah. I thought there was it's only that, one that version of a blood. werewolf. And now the werewolf is just slapping the hell out of him. God, picking him up? <laughs> what the fuck? He's got like big ass rabbit ears for a werewolf. Better to hear you with. <laughs> 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 oh, and now he's going to squeeze his head. <gasps> He's squeezing his throat. Yep. Pop it off. There it Bye. is. Pulls his head straight off. Damn. Bye, bitch. Hey, there's still a baby somewhere in the room. Nice. Ooh, he's just oh, peeling his face skin off and ripping his bone. That's legit, dude. That That's good. That's good gore. He's so hairy. That That's pretty fucking cool. Damn. Damn. What's Animal. he going to do with his head now? He skull fucks it like fucking uh <laughs> I will skull fuck you. Uh hey, tell your stupid girl to shut up. The now way of the gun. That's what it's oh, called. Yeah. Then he's outside with the head. The werewolf is outside Filipino squatting over the fucking <laughs> severed head that he just did. And he's howling at the moon. I one hundred percent guarantee that he's beef stewing the severed head. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a new toilet. <laughs> Suck on this. <laughs> He's just ripping farts right in that severed <laughs> its mouth. Is that snot? Oh. Ate eat, it. Eating the head now. Damn. So what happened to the baby? I was just going to say, what did the baby have to do with this? Oh, wait. That movie's not over. Oh, not yeah. the movie. No, it's daytime now. The episode. All right. Daytime's. That's fucked up. Damn. And we'll do it all over again with the next couple comes to see the open house. You can't. Now Damn. And now comes. he just opens up. He's like, he just got his ass whooped. Yeah. He's got like this bloody mouth and a fucked like a, up eye. A, yeah. It's, I wouldn't even say it's a black eye. It's just bloody and bruised. An unbleached butthole. And he's <laughs> inviting in a new no. couple. All right. Well, 
that was the end of it. That's it. What the fuck the baby happened? I have no idea. Because it seemed like the whole thing was kind of centered around him taking the baby, but yeah. then like nothing happened. So is it just that the husband stopped him from eating the baby or it just really didn't play a factor? Damn. Now that the credits are rolling for that one. Long. So weird. That's fucked up. Like you didn't need to do that if the baby had nothing to do with it. Yeah, that felt unnecessary. He he should have fucking democked the baby out of her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now we're back. Maybe no TV. hit back. <laughs> Kumite this and fucking <laughs> drop the elbow. <laughs> Dude, I feel like this guy's like Dr. Satan before all the mechanical wings. Yes. <laughs> Good God. Which I think as far as like House of a Thousand Corpses goes. Dr. Satan and the whole like underground part was the most interesting part of that first movie. Oh, I, that's what made me fall in love. I saw that shit in like the theaters, like maybe three times at least. Yeah. And it was because of the end. Like everything else was really great too, but the end is just like cherry on top. But like that part, I was like, you could make an entire movie out of this. Oh, a hundred percent. This is your movie right here. It's like how it's still powder and fucking, Lat pull her down. Ooh, he just pimp slapped him? <laughs> what the fuck? Pimp slaps Igor. I like how fucking Powder is like, has his mask on and everything like that. Like he's trying to be sanitized, but then fucking Lat pull Igor is just fucking in his normal daily clothes, no mask, and has a fucking toy in his hand. Ooh. He's peeling off the face of this, uh, mm-hmm. of this person. Damn, Nicolas Cage and John Travolta in here. Jeez, now he's going to go for the eyeballs. I no want one. his face off. Off. <laughs> Those teeth. No more drugs for that man. Nope, here it goes. How is there blood on the curtain behind him, but none on his scrubs? <laughs> he he dodges. He dodges, ah, duck, it, it dip, dives, and, and dodge. He, yeah, <laughs> and he moves. Mm, like, Do you oh, dodge the blood? blood? You can dodge a ball. Mm-hmm. You can dodge traffic. You can dodge a juggler. You can dodge a ball. Nope. Oh, we're coming into the next mm, story. Was that a big old silhouette of a dick? <laughs> I didn't see that. That is why his name is fucking Freudstein. He's like, if you saw dick. Uh-oh. That was just a montage of Fucking vampires and severed heads? Yeah, pretty much. You need a montage. You need a montage. Montage. That wasn't fucking Edward. Is that the right guy from Twilight? Oh, yeah. You know, I saw a couple minutes of Twilight when I had my fucking veneers put on, and I was like, can you just turn this off? (laughs) <laughs> I was like, you don't want to watch anything when you get your fucking procedure done. It took like fucking five hours, eight hours. You're like, no like, wonder why people hate coming to the dentist, dude. <laughs> yeah, can we not watch Twilight? The part <laughs> I saw, she's like, you got a haircut and a tattoo, and I was like, all right, enough for me. I got tapped <laughs> out, and I was like, I'd rather fucking just sit here in silence, listen to the drills and fucking shit. <laughs> so we're at a cop car, and he's. On his phone watching YouTube videos. Why is he wearing a hat, but it's strapped down? Like he's wearing a fucking helmet? Yeah. It's like a mountie hat. <laughs> God damn it. You're in a fucking cop car. Like if he was on a horse. I got to talk to his wife. Yeah, yeah. What do you need? <laughs> She's fucking playing bingo. She's doing crosswords. She's got a pen in her hand like, I did it. Uh, offshore gambling, dude. She's trying to win that fucking mortgage money back. Fuck yeah! <laughs> she's, she's talking. Like, about you're not coming home anytime soon, right? <laughs> like, hey, you're getting a fucking Christmas bonus, right? This year? <laughs> no need to. No, just wondering. <laughs> no, they they bought a house, or she went put in an offer on a house by the lake. I say, did you work for that money? <laughs> he's Hopefully, like, it's not the house we just saw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird. Everybody that goes there dies. Or just I wear this fucking hat with a strap around it for eight hours a day. (laughs) And just for you to buy a fucking lakeside house. I wonder if he's got like the indention, you know, like around his chin and (laughs) on the side of his face. I'm wearing the strap hat all day. 
I'd laugh if that wasn't a strap and that was just his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Lines it up like that on purpose. Fuck yeah, he does. Uh oh. So now an he sees asteroid. Something in the sky. His name's Barry. His name should be Carl. Oh yeah, it's an asteroid. They set the middle of the field on fire. Man, that's a fucking airplane toilet shit. <laughs> There's peanuts on it, and Joe Dirt's gonna go and you eat think it's it. It's a Boeing bomb. Yeah, it's a space mm. peanut. <laughs> so you can tell right here. So you're eating the ketchup off of it, dude. <laughs> Man, why does that kid look like he's fucking in ROTC? He's not old enough. Oh, oh there's an alien, alien that came out of it. That's not Superman. Ooh. The alien's fucked up. Oh, the alien just died. And now, uh, Another alien is coming out of him. How safe was that thing? So you're an alien inside of an alien body inside of a fucking alien capsule. It's like men in black. It's like, it's like insidious or what? Of, Inception. Uh, like Inception levels of aliens. <laughs> I was thinking that alien new meme. In the alien. In the uh, Russian nesting doll of uh, space. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> How the fuck did he die? What the fuck? So now there's some guy tied up in the back of a of a flatbed, and or, he's uh, cold. Of a Chevy, More New York plates. Damn, damn, and he damn. got drug out and <laughs> dropped. You know that hurt his hip. There's fucking Biggie Smalls and fucking Ben Affleck. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's got that ODB hair. Oh. Look at that so, fucking bullshit hair. Which it's I that ODB think, hair, man. This is the same guy that plays Dr. Freudstein as the the gang boss. He looks like fucking a even more trailery yellow wolf. <laughs> 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 and then that kid looks like a fucking... Maybe his dad. You know what I mean? Dude. Yellow wolf's dad. Like, how are you going to be in a biker gang... But you have like the world's thinnest arms. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know that many people in biker gangs, so I don't know. I mean, that dude clearly has the only people I hang out with. That's the only people I hang out with. <laughs> he's got, he's got a, a like a like a mini a ballpoint hammer. Uh, no, that's a hatchet. Is it a hatchet? A ballpoint hatchet? It's <laughs> is that even real? <laughs> It looks like the crucifix knife. It's got a sharp <laughs> end. Yeah. It might I saw a ballpoint end of it. I don't know what those out there was. Why does that look like fucking Chris Brown before he beat up Rihanna? <laughs> like when he was like twelve. <laughs> and he's like, give me my drink. And he just drank God. Wow, he's doing like the the telenovela drink. Watch this. <laughs> the big dramatic. Yeah, drink. he's got it with ice, so uh, right, so it was harder. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? The hell what the fuck? She brought a paper cup full of ice and just gave him a splash of ice. He's very he's very specific about exactly I need what six he wants. Cubes in here. <laughs> oh god, I thought that was a man giving him a neck massage. It's not. It's a girl giving him a neck massage. You sure? and whispered in it. Did you say Michelle? <laughs> No, I said, are you sure? Oh, I mean, you can't be too sure, I guess. <laughs> Unless you see. <laughs> so mm. now he wants to make a deal with him. He's going to chop off his really. OK, I, I, I'm i sorry. The, <clears throat> the I'm going to chop off your finger and hold it for you on ice. That's that's not how you save any limb. You got to put it in milk and then on ice. No, you got to <laughs> rush that shit to the hospital because oh. even if you put it on ice, it's probably going to like the the stump part portion is going to go into carotid. So you got to carterize the end of it and then put it on milk and ice. No, <laughs> no, Brian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you use the laser not- hat, it's like a lightsaber. It's going to carterize and cut at the same time. So you'd be all right. <sighs> But he only chopped the tip off. You don't need to t- put it back on. You'll be all right. I mean, he's going to... Ew, and he put it on his uh, his, his whiskey glass. 
Yeah. See, so see, no, he's good. But we the don't whiskey give, to keep it sterilized. We don't give medical advice on this podcast. <laughs> listen to Brian. <laughs> Please don't listen to Brian. Medical whiskey <laughs> milk and ice. Now, if we're talking about one arm CPR, yes, obviously don't do that. But <laughs> elbow drop it. <laughs> That's why The Rock, all of his people never died because he fucking CPR'd their asses. They smell what The Rock is cooking. He's like, do you smell the CPR? And he fucking, oh yeah, and dropped them. So now, I don't know who the fuck these people are, but is it a Christmas tree store? I think so. It's like a Christmas store. I feel like they did a really good job on his jacket, but then like they just fell off with the hat. Whose jacket? Like, yeah, it hit, feels weird. Like, it's like back from the military. Because it's a camo jacket. Yeah, because right? that is not like a military <laughs> hat. It's just a dark brown hat. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a shitty hat. Dude, are, you, I, are you like special forces or like he's a wearing soft? a wig for sure? It was that him. Obviously, he didn't know anything from the military because he's got his ass whooped by fucking. No, nah, this guy's way smaller than that guy. That guy was big as fuck. Yeah, that's what meth does to you. It makes you get a <laughs> fucked up Coolio haircut. <laughs> For sure, he's having a flashback. That's him. Okay. Right? I think. He bought that from a fucking military surplus store. He's trying to do fucking, what is it? Valier? What the fuck? Still Valier? When you pretend that you're in the military, but you're not? Oh. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I, I know I know what you're trying to say. I know the words right about. now. When you try to you fucking put on army fatigues and everything, then you go to like the dollar store and try no, to get a fucking discount. We got another we got another term for that. It's called PX Ranger. Yeah, this when guy. People show up with uh, messed up looking uniforms. Yeah, like he's wearing a military. fucking nice sweater underneath his fatigues. Like really, you know that's itchy as fuck. Yeah, he's got that shitty ass hat. Looking like Forrest Gump hair. God damn it. <laughs> it looks like if Prince was 6'2". <laughs> <laughs> Could you be? <clears throat> this dude is trying to pick up on this chick at the fucking flower store. What the fuck? Is it a flower store or a Christmas tree store? Did he just propose to her too? Yeah, he just, I, Oh, he's going to propose to somebody. Oh, okay. It's what not the same dude. Or if he just does the Michael Jackson 360, he he, and then he gives it to her. That's a good pickup line. Like, yeah, hey, bitch, you married? No, you should be bitch to me. <laughs> See, ah, uh, you just ratted him out. Oh, uh, oh, never mind. It's not him because all ladies love the surprise uh, proposal. Like, I know we just met three hours ago, but surprise, you want to get married? <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's good pick. Well, there are line. reality shows that are based on that entire premise. Yes, there are. Yeah. People Never that don't meet dicked. each other for 90 days or whatever. What the fuck? So he just Or did I just mix up two of them? <laughs> Generic Ben Affleck just got out of the truck. Oh damn, yeah, really yeah. that guy really was in the military cuz he is stomping Generic Ben Affleck. And he just got <laughs> well. Either that, like, or but just, when you fall, like, really make sure the shaft is in his mouth. Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna come behind you. We're gonna pistol whip you. And when you fall, fall forward and make sure you penetrate his oral re his oral fucking cavity. The stunt coordinator was probably didn't tell him like back off like two inches. Just he move pulled back. the guy in there the with side, the measuring like, tape. <laughs> he pulled the guy to the side. He's like, hey. Carl doesn't know this, but when you get knocked out, put your dick right in his face. <laughs> because then that's how the guy was like, get him off of me. Get him off of me. And he wasn't acting. He really was like, God damn it. How is your zipper undone, too? They probably got in an argument at craft services table and was like, oh, yeah, just wait till our fucking fight scene. Exactly. I got something for you. I'm going to put my Stolen dick in Stolen Valier. That's what it's <laughs> called. Oh, I'm sorry. That was an accident. I didn't oh. mean to do that. It's just drafty in here with my wiener. <laughs> like he's like, come fight me now. And he's like, I'm not fighting you. I clearly see you have an erection and your fucking zipper's down. <laughs> Roger, we need to record now. <laughs> like, if I have it, it's not that kind of movie. He's like, if I have this thing up for four more hours or more, I need to call my doctor. What am I supposed he's to do with this boner? Like, <laughs> 
Like, why do you have a boner? You just left a fucking Christmas tree, <laughs> Christmas tree floral shop. Didn't yeah. Will Ferrell talk about that in uh, oh, what movie was that? The Ladies Man, where he was like a rest, like a Gro- uh, Greco-Roman wrestler, and he's like, yeah, it's perfectly fine for guys to get hard ons in battle and shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah. That's all that is. Which that what is it? There was that UFC uh, fight where the guy wore a wore a like a banana hammock, <laughs> and uh, like I think after that one they banned it, and you had to wear shorts <laughs> probably because <laughs> the entire fight you just see awkward positions where it's just like uh, his the north boner. south position. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, there was a north south position. I'd in that tap. Fight. <laughs> It's like the opposite of when you want like a boob to fall out of a bra, you know? It's like, please don't like, wear a ball. Like, yeah, duck it in. <laughs> so yeah. did- We're at a fucking police officer's house and he's talking to his wife. I guarantee that he's going to retire tomorrow, but he's not going to make it to tomorrow. <laughs> well, they were talking about something that happened and he said that today was like 32 years to the day. Oh, yeah, they probably joined the force. <laughs> That's why he's going to retire tomorrow. Um, yeah, true. Get he's too old getting too shit. old for this, Riggs. <laughs> also, I feel like his badge is the badge you get like when you buy like the police officer's kit, you know, and it comes with like a pistol and like a little Uh-oh. billy club, and then you get like the, the badge. Like the Spirit Halloween. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's rocking plaid. Oh. Fuck, I didn't even notice. Damn. We're back at the... He's going to retire, and she's going to be murked up, and he's like, what the fuck am I going to retire for now? <laughs> oh, so we're back at the fucking biker gang. Yeah. Oh, God, I thought... God damn it. Did this he... guy look like he could play D. Snyder in like, the biography pick. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, good morning, asshole. Time to wake up. It's not even morning time. Smell the shit storm. That's so, a good one. I got to remember that one. <laughs> that's Wake is that his smell real the hair? Storm. He's. <laughs> I like how like the dude. So the camo guy woke up and he's tied to a chair, but he's like, "Let me see if I'm really tied to the chair." And he's like, "Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle." Oh, all right, you got me. <laughs> well, everybody's got to do that. It's like the test wiggle. He's like, wow, he's got, a, <laughs> got a double hitch knot, man. It's like, ah, damn, my only weakness. A double half hitch? Why don't you just call it a fucking a regular hitch? If it's a double half, that's a hole. Call it a whole hitch. <laughs> Damn, he just punch him and fucking knock him out cold again? Oh, he's trying to jog <laughs> his memory. That's a weird way to do it. Yeah. Blows to the blows to the brain is what gets like give him going. concussions. <laughs> he pulls out his Rambo knife now. He's got that fat blunt in his teeth. And you know it's a regular cigar too. It's not even weed. Oh, he's a Marine. Okay. He's not a Marine with that haircut. Yeah. Yeah, he really. A Marine with that fucking. All that hair? Come on, man. Way to commit, bro. Tighten it up. He's like, look at this. You see this fucking 100% wool sweater underneath my fucking. <laughs> now they're padding. Standard down. military issue. Jeans. Oh. Jeans. <laughs> Here it comes. They found a fucking potato sack bag in his pocket that's his wallet is just papers it's like folded up posted notes <laughs> why the fuck was his wallet in his front left pocket milk creamer <laughs> eggs god damn it he's a wall for sure they just pull out his military id where he has a nice shaved head yeah. And now his hair looks like fucking Justin Bieber when he was like 13. So if he just got out, then how long ago was that? Oh, dude, he's fucking. <gasps> that dude oh, in a wheelchair? Dude. Whoa, whoa. Talk about a fucking. Okay, that's a good swerve. So why are they now they fucking chasing <laughs> I was after? ready for that. Literally. <laughs> Damn. And, I'm and so confused what's going on. So we're, we're with the kid and he like threw a knife through the air and stabbed him in the back. Uh Uh-oh. That's style points. So the dude gets out of the wheelchair to lay on the ground and go over to the Chris Brown Jr. looking guy. And still move the knife around. Wow. He threw that hatchet. You were right. It was a hatchet. It's a hatchet. I was completely wrong. But he still threw it like end over end, and it didn't like hit him in the back like a thunk. (laughs) Thunk. What did he just hit him? fingers, man. 
Did he get the fingers or is he getting the knee? He's getting the knee. Uh, oh, is that what it is? There's a leg off. See, a leg, if you chop your leg off, you can't put it on milk and ice. <laughs> Only fingers and toes, <laughs> I guess. That's you can. Just- it's just, it's not going to end up really well. Well, I mean, technically, you can put anything on milk and ice. <laughs> you really think about it. I'm just saying it's not going to be, you're not going to be able to take that to the hospital and use it. <sighs> so he chopped off both of his legs and he instantly died. Come on, man. Look I mean, at fucking what happened to fucking Bubba. That's a lot of blood, though. From fucking Forrest Gump. No, I mean fucking Lieutenant Dan. And he plays a really good wheelchair guy because a lot Ice of people cream. don't like understand <laughs> to like leave your legs limp and let the other person lift them. Oh, he stood up and power bombed him. He's like, oh, yo. You think if you just killed somebody that your cigar would still be lit? How many necklace is he wearing a dream catcher as a necklace? I'm pretty sure that's illegal. <laughs> you know, that sucks for this guy because like he's like, Hey, I'm not your guy. I just got back from the military and they're like they're trying to kill him because he's he's supposed to be the guy, right? And he's like, No, I'm not the guy, I can prove it. And they're like, Oh, great, cool. But now we still have to kill you because you're not the guy. It's like fuck. Yeah. I wonder if the dude with the, that just got his legs chopped off and murdered was him. And he's like, hey, that's my doppelganger. <laughs> Maybe I can fucking pass him off as me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, the dude has another leather jacket. Brought to you by Men's Warehouse. So now he's trying to like, like, I was going to propose. I have the sweet story. You should let me go. It's like, yeah, these aren't the people that aren't going <laughs> to. Yeah. Like, oh, that's so amazing. Yeah, you can go now. He has a prison shank. Damn. You have a prison shank, like, but you're out of fucking prison. So. But he also punched him like six times in the face and got like five drops of blood. Yeah, but it's the same people. Like I told you, like my friend, like just got out of jail. We threw a big ass house party. And the first thing he did was make a prison burrito. And you're like, hey, you have an entire kitchen full of food. You can use your (laughs) stove. You don't need to make a prison burrito. Like, what the fuck? When you showed me that video, I was like, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. It's fucked up. <laughs> so did he just try scalping him? So he took... I don't think he tried. I think he did. Oh, geez. Yeah, he scalped. Oh, he's trying to. Right, he's cutting his forehead right now. Oh, and he's telling the big bodyguard, like, oh, he cut his ear off? Was that his ear? What the oh, wow. fuck? He pulled his face off. Nice. And then got freaked out that he pulled his face off. Oh, fuck. Did I do that? And he's like, you record that, right? <laughs> he said world star. He said world star. God damn it. He <laughs> said, I feel like Christmas. <laughs> you caught me red handed. Oh, God. This guy is his great one liners. What the I fuck? I like this guy. He's so good. Oh, and then well, he- when you're with DJ Khaled, you got to go world star, yeah. right? And another one. We the <laughs> best. <laughs> Here it goes. You know, this is a beautiful overview. Yeah. What the fuck is this? Motherfucking Salt Lake? They're in like the waterfront. Right? The fuck? And everybody's celebrating the cop like, you did it. You fucking. He is retiring. He is retiring, yeah. <laughs> there in yeah, Florida. Yeah, sign in the back, though. Look at that shit. They literally just fucking. Like. <laughs> didn't even. Like, do bubble letters. They just went one time. Like, somebody just wrote it. God damn it. Well, at least they measured it out. Because with the bubble letters, people get too aggressive at the beginning. Then you got to shoot yeah, the letters. Yeah, you're nice. No. That's why you fucking plan it out. You draw it out in pencil first and then fucking do it. Yeah, but who has that much time? Motherfucking everybody. I make the most inappropriate fucking... So I have a nephew who plays defense and soccer, and he was just out here last weekend for a fucking tournament. I was like, show us that D. (laughs) And they're like fucking 16-year-old kids. I'm fucking out there with this big-ass sign. Being like, show us your D. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then, like, my younger brother, you know, he fucking has been playing basketball and football and everything. I'm like... Fucking, he scores a lot. And everybody's like, what the fuck? (laughs) God, that looks like our fucking sheriff. Yeah, that does look like uh, (laughs) Joe Arapaio. (laughs) Why the fuck is his name that? I don't know. 
All right. I've never heard that, but all right. So now why is that your name? (laughs) His real name isn't that, but what the fuck? Oh, so now we're at the bad guys and they've got the bodies. Oh yeah. And they're He's doing like a oh okay. Like the way that shot was, it was like he's really pulling for a long time to get him out of there. Shannon rolls up in here with the fucking Oh, just in case he's not dead. Yeah, like just punch him a few more times. Jeez. I would think he was sh- fucking I, shanking him. I just like that squishy Ew. sound. Nice. <laughs> yep. So gross. Feels just like warm apple pie. It's the exact <laughs> same thing he's thinking. Oh, they just faced him. I don't think that they oh. recognize bodies by faces. I think it's by like fingle, fing, fingle, uh, fingerprints. He has fingerprints All and right. teeth. Yep. That that's that's the oh well we have a uh, something the predator is that that alien from earlier oh yeah that like a baby alien that popped out of the yep. alien's mouth and then it just went into his mouth it's and like a larva into his brain it's a parasite oh but now he's getting all the memories him joining the military playing baseball some woman opening oh, the bad guy punching him all right it's just a montage of his memories his whole life. Is he going to be like a faceless alien crow Ooh. and just go around? I was waiting for the fucking shark revenge. queen to come up. <laughs> like, it is me. God damn it. That's still one of my... It's a good ass... One of my favorite movies. Sharks of the Corn. He's like, God damn it. I forgot my knife. I you left my watch in him. I did. <laughs> nice. What? Now, I was thinking about that thing where, like, surgeons will leave their watches and people, you know? <laughs> well, like, he literally threw the knife on the ground. So now he's going to pull his gun on to make him go back Are for you his c- knife. No, you can get a new knife. You don't need it. Oh, so now the... It's his lucky driver. knife. His mom gave it to him. Right. This is the last thing my mom gave you before she went to go get a car and cigarettes and milk. <laughs> like, it's weird because usually it's your dad that does that. Yeah. So now they're in a fucking standoff with guns at each other's eyeballs. Like you would think that like you would just hurry up and bob left and then shoot. Yeah, really? I'd be like, dude, you know how stupid it is to go back to the crime scene? Just get a new knife, man. He's like, I've I had that in my prison wallet for six years. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're out of jail. You can go buy a knife at any fucking store. I went to the bank yesterday and I bought a knife. Like, it was fucked up. Uh-oh. So now he's vigorously looking for... Did we just leave a body here? Yeah. I mean, that, that is where they were. I mean, and now the body's gone. Yeah, that's where it's supposed to be. They're making crop circles with all the fucking bodies that oh. are going. Uh oh. Another one. Then he Damn. Gets his... Okay, that is a good twist, though, that his his partner is the one that uh, blows his head off, not. With a sawed off shotgun. Yeah, not that. And he hand. held it one handed and then bucked him, and then he called him a crazy cracker ass. <laughs> Damn, is that an extended bed? Yeah. Tim's. <laughs> yep, and I guarantee those are Tim's because you know you don't tie your Tim's. <laughs> you don't. I used to rock shorts with some Tim's. Yeah. Uh oh. How did he not notice the body in the back? Really? He doesn't do the circle of safety. No, he does not. <laughs> <laughs> to the <laughs> circle of safety. Oh, that was cool. Oh, shit. Oh, because he got them brass ass teeth. Damn. So he gets electrocuted. Yep. So the dude with his face chopped off jumps out, grabs him, pokes his eyes with his thumbs, mm-hmm. pushes him up against a wall, grabs an electrical outlet and puts it in his mouth because he had the fucking brass ass teeth. Oh, all right. Here we go. And we have a. Uh... A three-way of... A, a three-way washing. Oh, I thought that was a girl right there. That's the guy, the wheelchair oh, guy. Yeah, that's the wheelchair guy. See, don't have long hair, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a woman in a bathtub. 
But it's not even a bathtub. It's like the fucking what it's is like a, that? It's like thing? a basin. Whatever the fuck. It's like a metal basin. Yeah. Isn't that where the horses drink their water from? Yeah. yeah. Potentially something like that. <laughs> Yeah, or he's, he's balling on a budget. Or men go get one of those and have two naked chicks bathe you. Yeah. Why did I do night to quit drinking tonight? Bathe. Yep. And there you go, everybody. Bathe. <laughs> <laughs> he instantly hurry up and got dressed like that, and I was trying to that wheel away. Well, how did he do that? I gotta get the fuck out of here. He's like dr- Ringo game. We're being ambushed. I like how they're in an office and he has like his old uniforms up on the wall. Yeah. This was me when I was an astronaut. Who the fuck is this guy? Friendly fire, man. Killed one of their own. Yeah. They, he, he did the old rope a dope on him where you get the guy and you like duct tape his mouth. mouth. I mean, at the same time, though, that's on you if you know everybody's packing and you don't walk in the room. God and be like, hey, damn it's me. It. No. <laughs> Anthony, if you fucking came to my house and you were wearing just a fucking little mask, I'd be like, that's Anthony. Did you hear? As soon as they took the mask, they're like, it was Russ. You knew it was Russ before you shot him. Like, oh, no. Was it, was it Russ? Oh, no. Yeah. And so now all of a sudden they're looking and the guy with the mask comes in without a face, I mean. And they're just like, don't shoot him. No, shoot him. He doesn't have a fucking face. So, what yeah, is it about him not having a face that makes him impervious to bullets? Yes. that That's what comes with the not having a face. Mm, got it. Or is that the alien part? If you can survive getting your face I shot off, about you can survive a bullet shot. Or is this like a like a they live scenario? It's What's that Rowdy Rowdy Piper movie? Yeah. Yeah, they live. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So the wheelchair guy has a butcher's knife inside the wheelchair wheel. That's uh, a machete. Fucking machete. See, machete. Brian? Boom. <laughs> there I go, drinking heavily again. Oh. So face this guy, picks wheelchair dude up by the throat, and is like, key hop, and throws him on the ground. God damn it. Is he reaching for another weapon? He has knife, dude. He has how many knives does this guy have? But they're like gigantic ass knives and guns. Yeah. And, oh, so now he's gonna. He's Dwight. Oh, he. He's a, <laughs> failure to prepare is failure preparing to fail. <laughs> he's like Dwight from the Office mm-hmm. <laughs> when he had to turn over all his weapons. So he just opened up his <laughs> mouth and the fish jizzed all over that dude's face. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I hope he ate nothing but oh, it's acid, acid jizz. Dude, I got I gotta say the the gore factor on this one is better than it's been on the other ones. Yeah, it, has, it is. Damn, it's it's really good gore. That fucked up noses looking like I'm not gonna say Michael Jackson's name. <laughs> <laughs> M Jackson? No, no, no. Michael J. There you go. Hmm. Jekyll Maxson. <laughs> so what back to, to the track? sheriff. Why is his fucking holster so fucking? His holster like a 45 degree angle. Look at his gun is like. Oh my God. Popping out of the holster that literally anybody could grab it. So there's a kid who just on, almost got ran over by a fucking rogue truck. And the police officer's like, God damn it. And sl- fucking slam dunks his coffee on the ground, which is littering. Just to chase a fucking Chevy S10 truck. <laughs> that S10 doesn't know how to drive for shit. Well, this is like it looks say like, it. like a speed up chase. Like they they're driving at like thirty miles an hour, but they sped up the footage. Oh yeah, <laughs> probably not a male driving that truck though. Probably because you can't like <laughs> actually drive like full speed down the road. There's like, look, Carl. If you want to film a movie, you can't fucking go over the speed limit. Otherwise, we're going to pull you over. Follow the speed limit. Okay. <laughs> it just rained. Fucking do like a donut or something in the puddle of water. <laughs> That'll make it look cool. It's like on fucking the other guys. It's like free hot dogs for life. And everybody's like, yeah. He's like, no drinks, though. I can't do it. <laughs> 
Oh no, he forgot his hat. Oh, how how when he's got that chin strap on? Step out of the vehicle. Oh, I was saying his face yet. That moment, the retiring cop, last shift. Oh, right. He's like, oh my god. At least he didn't freak See, out and put his weapon down. At the same time, if you saw that, wouldn't you be like, oh, fuck. So now they're going to do a standoff. The faceless guy's pointing the fucking sawed off at him. So he just instantly shoots him in the head and walks away. Doesn't even keep the fucking gun pointed at him. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Wow. I think it's... That's good neck gore, though. I mean, that was right in the fucking underneath the clavicle. And he's bleeding. Oof. Poor Damn guy. It. He was going to go home to Rhonda. <laughs> he's he's the only one cake. in this one that didn't do anything wrong. I know. But it's, it's always it's always the goddamn retire, retiring, <laughs> retiring police officer. Here's this guy getting ready to propose. Jeez. Ooh, the guy has like a stink face when he takes the flowers from him. It's like, <laughs> if somebody came up to you with their face chopped off and took flowers from you, I wouldn't be like, you piece of shit. I'd be like, I'm yes, a, yes. Please, I'd be like, here you go. Please take them. I'll go buy more. Can I take you to the hospital? Yeah, instead of asking, do you need help? Yeah, it should be a statement to say you need help. You also, instantly. he's walking away from where he left the truck, but the truck is in the driveway. Yeah, the truck is now um, in the driveway. He's also walking like he has mud butt <laughs> or like his balls <laughs> chafed his legs. You know, like if you go to like the San Diego Zoo and your fucking nuts chafe. Yeah, I didn't want to walk eight <laughs> hours today. Oh, now he's fucking hiding his face. Oh, and his girlfriend sees his face and she's like, ree, ree, ree. and oh. passes out. Is there windows in the door that she just opened? That's weird. Oh, well, and, and uh, that was the end of that one. That's our movie. All right. All right. Well, uh, we'll be back with final thoughts on the monster mash. Well, we're back with final thoughts on the monster mash. What do you guys think? I like these kinds of movies because they provide inspiration and hope that I too can make a movie, you know? Yes. <laughs> All I need is like, um, you know, crazy idea and some wishful thinking and some PowerPoint skills. And I think I could do it. <laughs> PowerPoint. But that's the thing. I, I feel like the PowerPoint worked because it is a very seventies concept. So, you like the point is to not be elevated. Like you yeah. don't you don't want to elevate anything. You'd rather everything look a little more low res. And it, yeah, it no, I, I like well. it, and it doesn't take itself very serious. You know, no. it's not trying too hard. I think was this is what you're uh, saying there as well. So it it all makes for a joyous experience. I will say that I don't know that I would have enjoyed it as much if I didn't sit here and watch it with you guys in this way. Right. It's always better to watch. But Anthony and I, we always, you know, we can't really 100% listen to the movies while we're fucking recording. So we always think there's always stuff that we probably have missed, you know, so it might have swayed a different way like there's been a couple times where we think that people are a couple and they're like actually they were brother and sister we're just like oh (laughs) fuck that completely (laughs) changes what the fuck we were talking about you know that's why they were making out okay got it it. that's why they weren't in a fight they just you know shouldn't do it they shouldn't be kissing if they're bloodline even if they're first cousins but you know yeah, like the cool thing for me about this movie is one of the things they explained to me is they would do like like six like four to six weeks of of stuff. They had enough money for like four to six weeks. They were shooting on 16 millimeter. They had no idea what they were getting. And they would literally send it out, and get it back and like and hope the footage worked. You're right. 
and for them to get this out of that, I I'm impressed. Yeah, I no, it came out really well. Bam! I think, like you said, you know, it was a fun movie, and then just with everybody on it and talking through it, you know, yeah, yeah, it, you know, um, my wife and my kids they love horror, but not at this level. So I don't feel like I could bring it to the table to be like, hey, let's all sit down and watch this. Because <laughs> then they're all on their phones and I'm the only one into it. Then yeah. I'm like pissed off that they're on their phones. And so it's more of like, it's more in line with what I'd be watching with my co host So, you know, again, being here with you guys, watching it, enjoying it, poking fun at it, it just ma- it makes it that much better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was fucked up when I called it. I was like, oh, that's a baby. The fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, went, went. I was like, oh, fuck, fuck. me, man. <clears throat> I, I just like that funny. they went for it, though, with the baby. And it was like, <laughs> yeah, like, like they're, they're not trying to half weigh it. They're like, they're going for the shock factor. They're going for the cringe. It's I 100% support it. You know, like I think that we were talking before we were recording everything about, um, you know, being afraid to hurt people's feelings, kind of, and stuff like that. But there's movies, and the the I don't want to sound fucked up, but there's parts of movies and ideas where, you know what, fuck those kids, kill them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what was it, Black Pumpkin? Oh yeah. Like, guess what? If you're a fucking asshole, boom. You're going to get fucking murdered by Black Pumpkin or yeah. Jack, whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah. You know? And so, like, it's... We always like the movies that you can put yourself in those shoes. You know? Those movies that, you know, and that's why we do these movies, the indie films, is because they're not fucking... You can't kill a kid. You can't do this. You can't... Do, no. That was the thing I liked about Black Pumpkin, because we talked to Ryan... McGonagall and he was like and he was told by his production company like the the people that gave him the money like you can't kill a kid he's no. like hold my beer because like, there's <laughs> yeah, seriously like let's wait we'll, we'll pretend that the character aged two years so I can kill him you know but it's the same thing where it's like a, <laughs> what the fuck um, there's some things that like in real life like there's kids that get killed and it's sad and like that. And so that just makes you being able to connect with them fucking that much more, yeah. you know, like another, yeah. like another great, great, great example is what final summer with miles. Oh yes. You know, like if you're being chased and all your friends are being murdered like that and you've never fucking once put your fist up to get into a fight, what are you going to do? So this fucking, that character, he's like, I'm going to try to do this because I've seen a movie where they fucking punch them. And so fucking that person at least tried to fucking fight the bad guy. I mean, it did end well, no, but you didn't die like a bitch. No, like you, you fucking, not. you tried to fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like when you can put your fucking shoes or your feet into their shoes, like it makes it that much awesomer, you know? And so the fact that, you know, like you never thought about that. Like, goddamn, are there any baby werewolves or baby chupacabras? <laughs> I've never once thought about that. <laughs> Me either. But these guys brought it to the fucking table. It was like, guess what? There's a basement full of fucking chupacabras waiting to get yeah. cattle. You know? <laughs> and then this is what the fuck happens. And then all of a sudden, fucking you kill a teenage fucking chupacabra or werewolf and then all of a sudden it's like where where you've just killed a fucking baby and you're just like oh fuck <laughs> yeah and he's like <laughs> obviously grossed out by it which i i mean like that feels like a very natural reaction but at the same time you almost got murdered by a baby like what the fuck's wrong with <laughs> which brings us thank you fucking to even the beginning could you take out some kids with a bat <laughs> see <laughs> boom <laughs> You know, <laughs> goddamn baby werewolves. There was yeah, that's that question, fucked right? up. What? There's that movie. Um, uh, I don't want to get it wrong. Beware, children at play. 
I don't know if you guys have seen that I've one. Seen that. I, I don't know. No, that, the I, I don't whole think Indian that sequence is like the adults taking out this camp of kids, but just like straight murder style. Like there's even one scene where this guy, this yeah. old man picks up this, this teenager and he grabs him by the hair and he takes his pistol and puts it right in his mouth and then pulls the trigger and his whole head explodes. Damn. Wow. Yeah, that's a good one. But you see, like, that's like, you know, if our favorite things are if you could somehow, and I think it's in movies in general, if you can somehow relate to them or try to put yourself in their shoes, like, to make it relatable, it makes it that much more enjoyable to get involved with that movie. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Um but I think for me, it's more so the ridiculousness, right? Because a big yeah. thing for me is movies that don't have happy endings or like, yeah, you know, specifically where people, everybody dies in the end, right? And yeah. a lot of people get pissed off at those types of movies because it's like, well, I if everybody died, like, what was the point of the movie, you know? But no. to me, that's that's real life, right? Exactly. That, that That's kind of where your, your point comes in, where like, not everything ends happily ever after not everybody's going to walk away from this thing and so i like it when it's a little bit more darker a little bit more realistic and you are left with like a shitty feeling at the end you know it's a really good example of that is requiem for a dream i yes. love that fucking movie it's at the end of the movie when the first time i saw it i wanted to take a shower and call my mom and be like oh my god yeah i quit are fucking okay? mainlining black tar because of that movie <laughs> <laughs> but you know like another great example of that is fucking late checkout yes like you know what i'm saying like at the end of that movie spoiler alert everybody turn your shit off if you don't want to hear this but at the end of that movie when they reveal who the killer is they say why are you doing this and the killer says just because mm -hmm. like it's not why are you doing this Oh, because your great grandpa took five dollars from my great great grandma after he <laughs> didn't pay for the abortion. Yeah, yeah. You're like, what the fuck? No. There are fucked up people mm -hmm. that just kill to kill just to fucking do it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Which did have you seen that one? No, I haven't. I, I don't want to say it then because um uh, well fucking <laughs> sorry but it's all that, good that's one to check out that's plug your I have old man brain i'm not going to remember this in three days so yeah boom it's cool it's that movie's dope that movie is but like, it's like shit like that where it's all the time that's where... one of those ones because it's like a lot of horror movies don't like stick the landing on the ending or don't do it like you get that big build up and you're just hoping like this ending it's going to be amazing like right and, like and it's not as amazing as you think it could be this is that the one it's like i didn't think they were going to go there but it's just it's that much better you know instead of trying to tie some fucking m night shamalami twist at the very 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 end <laughs> yeah we we're like wait 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 so remember at the very beginning of the movie where like they had a flat tire and the person just drove by and splashed them with water and then like seven generations later like they're upset about it still like, no, it's just telling you that there's people that are fucked up in this world that do shit like this for no reason at all. I don't need to yeah. know you. I don't fucking need anything like that. I'm just fucked up and I wanted to murder a bunch of people in a fucking cabin. Yeah. It's like, uh, uh, what was it? Dark Knight when they were talking about the Joker and Damn. Alfred was telling that story of like this guy who's, you know, just burned all the money just because he wanted to just watch it burn, you know, like he didn't yeah. give a shit about the money. He just, he just wanted to watch the world burn. Yeah. It's you just know, about destruction. Something like that. So yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. like this movie, like I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was, yeah. like you said, fun to watch if you're with your friends and everything like that and having drinks. Yeah. Like yeah. If you, if, if you go into this expecting, you know, cinematic Marvel and, you know, production and seriousness. Storyline. Yeah. You, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. But I think you got, you got to know your role. It, it's, it's enough story that it keeps you in. Yeah. You know, I like the fact that it doesn't give a bunch of twists and turns there like that. Like it tells a story from A to B. There's no A to C to D to E to A. But there's some good twist moments, though. Like, 
there's points where you're like, oh, this person's going to do this thing, but then somebody else does it instead. Yeah, so this right. does make me want to go back. This does make me want to go back and watch the last one because what the fuck? Was that military dude the wrong guy? You know what I'm saying? He, like, yeah. why? Well, not- Anthony brought up a good point, which was like, is he indestructible because of the alien? And I totally forgot that there was an alien yeah. element in the beginning of the movie. And I don't remember how they correlate. Like how did, how did they fold in the alien part to like this As, guy? Yeah. The, see, so well, that's where the you go back and watch it. Hits the, hits the field and then comes out of his body and they go to that field to, Oh yeah. Uh, to Got drop it. off his body Got and it. the alien gets inside his body. But did Got he just it. turn into fucking spawn? And he's got a like, cape yeah. now, and now he's gonna go back and fuck up a bunch of clowns. <laughs> you know, yeah, only the fat ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this meat is rotten, and then he punches that little kid. He's like, "You think you're good, too good for fucking maggot meat?" <laughs> like, yes, <laughs> yes, I am. Everybody's too good for maggot meat. <laughs> See, but no, it was it's fun. Big. Yeah, with good pick. Friends. Awesome. So, well, uh, thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you yeah. again, man. Yeah, you we're gonna have to your... figure out um, the inverse of this where we have you guys on our show. Hell yeah, we'll walk through one. One hundred percent would love it, dude. Uh, yeah, you wanna say again what your handles are? Yeah, Instagram, TikTok, uh, at Mutant City Horror. Um, I'll just leave it there. Uh, we're m- we're mainly on Instagram, so um, you can find us there. You can email the show, mutantcityhorror at gmail.com, or you can email me directly at paul at mutantcityhorror.com. Awesome. Yes, thank yeah, you. And you can find the show Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and basically anywhere you find podcasts. So go check it out. Sweet. Awesome. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Um, we'll talk to you next time. All right, gents. Have a great night, man. Thank you for listening to the podcast. This podcast is available on all major podcast networks and YouTube. If you like what you're hearing, please follow, like, and subscribe to us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.